for those of us who are in church and then like we're hearing that, you know, it's best to find somebody in church or find somebody, you know. I say best to find somebody in Christ. In Christ. Okay. Before I play this video, I just have to say this. This has to be the most heartbreaking video that you've ever seen in your life of one of those type of women who love to say there's no good men out here. This right here is going to break every one of those type of women's hearts because this right here is going to show you how full of crap y'all actually are and how all of your lies are finally going to be exposed in this one video. Hit the like button, hit the like button, share this video, share this video, and hit the like button. Let's go. Okay. You're right. not and drop your city in the chat. Drop your city in the chat. Drop your city in the chat so I can shout you out. The same. But the problem that I that I've had and Here we go. I know is that how can single women find Here we go. someone or meet someone? I ain't gonna say fine. Meet someone when ninety percent of the church is uh women. And Here we go. So this right here is what a lot of women who don't necessarily either want to work on themselves or are just outright outright lazy or possibly delusional. Shout out to uh, Nuremberg, Germany. What's up, Jimmy James? They love to turn around and complain about scarcity. It's always a scarcity issue. There's not enough good men out here. The men out here are this. They can't do this. They can't do that, right? It's all we men here. And the thing about it is, this video right here is going to show you how full of crap the women are. Hit the like button, hit the like button, share this video, hit the like button. What's going on, Blue Batteries? Then the 10% that are men are already married. Their wives are already there usually so what are we supposed to do well see they 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 have it all down pat right they know what type of men that uh uh, uh they want but the the men that they want are never around right but the bottom line is the men that you want you see every day but they don't see you so because they don't see you you don't see them. That's the actual secret. The men that you want don't want you. So you sit around and act like the men that you want don't exist. And the only men that you see out in the world, you see because you don't want to see the other ones, is the men that you don't want because you have no choice but to get in relationships with the men that you don't want because the men that you do want don't want to get into relationships with you Let's keep going come here come here, come here. <laughs> hey so so right here right here i'm gonna back it up a little bit look how she doesn't want to come up on stage no 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 come here you see that right why don't you want to come up on stage see and here's the actual actual issue. And I'm going to go back to the video. Everybody hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. I'm going to go back to the video. But women love to complain about a problem. And then he says, come up here. I'll fix your problem. Come up here. I have a solution to your problem. And she's like, no, wh 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 where are you going? I have a solution to your problem. Virtually every woman does that. You know why? Because they don't actually have a problem with the outside world or the external situations or the problem that they say that they have. It's not really a problem with the outside world. They have a problem with themselves. They have a problem with themselves. And that is the biggest issue.
that we're going to address today when y'all hit the like button, when y'all share this video. Because the bottom line is, you don't really have a problem. You just don't want to do the work. That's really it. And I've proven this plenty of times before. So for the people who just came on, this is the video. For those of us who are in church and then like we're hearing that, you know, it's best to find somebody in church or find somebody, you know. I say best to find somebody in Christ. In Christ. Okay. It's right. not the same. But the problem that, I, that I've had and people that I know is that how can single women find someone or meet someone, I'm going to say find, meet someone when 90% of the church is uh, women. And then the 10% that are men are already married. Their wives are. So she says, how can a woman meet someone? Right? How can a woman meet someone? Simple question. How can a woman meet someone? Um, we can easily meet someone. Anybody can meet someone. But no, that's not the issue, right? You want a good man. You want a fit man. You want a man that has money. You want a man that will step up. You want a man that is a good father. You want a man that, that wants you. Thank you, Ronald. Ronald uh, Brantley just said 54% of single um, black men are single and childless. 54% of the black male population, that is about 10 million men. 10 million black men are single and childless. 16% of the population of men in particular make over $100,000 a year. I'll say that again. 16% of black men in America make $100,000 a, a year. So there are a lot of good black men, smart black men, and 50% of those men, the bad ones and the good ones, are single and childless. So you can't blame it on the baby mama. You can't really blame it on the money because, like I said, 16% of, of the 10 million, 16% of the 10 million make over $100,000 a year. Why can't you get one of the 16% of men that are single, childless, and make over $100,000 a year? It's you. Let's go back to the video. It's you. Already there, usually. So what are we supposed to do? Well, it's always a, what are we supposed to do? I don't know what to do. Why do we, why, why can't we, why can't I get what I want? Well, well, what's up, cat? Well, we're going to talk about why. Come here, come here, come here. Hey. And here, here's the problem right here. Here's the problem right here. Women don't want the solution. Come here, come here. Hey, no, no. Can anybody explain to me why the woman does not want to come up on stage? Philly in the building, what's up, Blaze of Glory 73? Can, can anybody explain... Can anybody explain why the woman doesn't want to go up on stage? I'm waiting. I want to hear from y'all. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. I want to know from y'all, why is it that this woman does not want to go up on stage? I'm, I'm listening. I want to hear from y'all. Why doesn't she want to go up on stage? She stands up and asks, in her mind, a valid question. And she turns around and gets an answer. And he's like, come up here. 
so I can explain the answer to you. And she runs away. Shout out to Ontario, Ontario, uh, California. You want an assumption? No, y'all know the answer. Why does this woman not want to go up on stage? That's the question. Why does she not want to go up on stage? Because because this this is the, this is the crazy thing about it. Why does she want to go up on stage? So Kat says she's embarrassed. Okay, let's go with that. She's embarrassed. So I tell people, there's no such thing as this emotionally stable woman. It's physically impossible. I started mapping out women's hormones and realized that... Hold on, y'all. I got a video I want to share with y'all. And I thought I downloaded it. And... Because we're going to break all of this down. Hit a like button, hit a like button, hit a like button. She doesn't want to be held accountable. Eric said that. Uh, she don't care about the real answer. She just wants to attack men. That is what I was looking for right there. All women want to do is be victims. And in order to be victims, you have to have some type of victimhood. And the victimhood is between you and the other, the aggressor or the attacker, right? So in almost every situation, women, and we, we're going to break this down. In almost every situation, women are going to look for angles of victimization. Type in the chat right now, angles of victimization, angles of victimization. Type that in the chat, y'all, because I need y'all to remember that. Virtually every situation you've ever seen with a woman, she's going to find an angle of victimization to hide behind. There's always an angle of victimization. So she has to find some reason why there's a problem and then turn around and make somebody else the problem. But then when you turn around and have an answer or a solution to said problem, here comes the woman like, no, uh, 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 uh. So I'm sending a video to my um, phone now. So we, we, we're going to talk about it. We're going to go back to this, this video with this woman. Because uh, we all, as men, are sick of it. We get blamed for everything. And it's annoying. All right, give it one second. All right, here it is. So let me go get the video and hit a like button, hit a like button, hit a like button, hit a like button. Listen to this. We're going to go back to the other video. Oh, damn. I'm sharing too many videos. Hold on one second. I got to get rid of one of them. Um... Damn. All right, I'll get rid of this one. All right, so here we go. Hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. All right, listen to this. There's no such thing as an emotionally stable woman. It's physically impossible. I started mapping out women's hormones and realized that women are cyclic monthly, but their estrogens and other hormones change four times a month. So I realized, wait, our women change four times in the month. And let me give you a, a simple analogy on this. Women, there's sometimes you get up in the morning, you put your bra on, it's all nice and full. Next one week, you put your bra on, it's a bunch of shriveled raisins. It's like, where do they go? No, give my point. I it's feel like, attacked. See, it, no, no, but see what I'm saying? That's yes. and the women go, oh my goodness, you're right. See, because your body changes every week differently. Now imagine this though. But here's one thing. And I was literally talking to a woman over in Europe today, and all of a sudden I said this. I said, listen, but now estrogens change four times a month. So guess what happens, ladies? That means mentally you change four times in the month. And she goes, think about that. Think about that. Oh my goodness. She goes, there's, I'm a CEO of this company, but there's some days of the month that I shouldn't make any decisions. That's right. Yeah. Because Felicia says, does he make videos about men? I made a video about Puff Daddy and how disgusting of a human being he is uh, uh, the day for yesterday. Any other questions, Felicia? Any other questions? Because you want to come in here and ask stupid questions. Is there any other stupid questions you want to ask? I'll wait, Felicia. We're waiting, Felicia. You want to come in here and ask a stupid question? I'm waiting. I just gave you an answer. The last video I did was about a man. Felicia, hello. Felicia, hello. 
just one video about men. Uh, the video I made before that was about men. Thank you. Everybody in the chat, type in bye Felicia with the little hand emoji. Everybody in the chat, type in bye Felicia. Felicia, sit down and be quiet. And this is the reason why we men ignore women. Because all y'all want is attention and y'all just love saying stupid mess and find an angle of victimization. You want to be a victim. Oh, he only talks about women. Shut up. Okay. Sit down and, and, and shut up. All right. So here we go. Four times a month, there's, you are dramatically different, and that's okay. So, so men are gonna deal with things and look at the world very differently than women because women's changes. What it did for women, start to realize that as they go up and down, their emotions are not supposed to be stable. So I tell people, there's no such thing as an emotionally stable woman. Mm -hmm. It's physically impossible. And that's okay. And that's okay, That and, but see, men don't understand that. So they look and go, honey, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? And, and it drives women nuts because they can't even explain what's wrong. And I'm telling you, I'm trying to teach men, there's nothing wrong with them. Well, and that's the game changer of this conversation. Yeah. Conversation is you're saying it's not just women who need to understand our hormones. Yep. It is the men. Yes. So that men aren't like, I don't understand her. Why is she always changing her yes. mind and doing all this? The guys have to know how yep. hormones work too. So the reason why I wanted to play that, because it's very important for us men, because on um 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 see, I'm here to help y'all understand uh women and why they're so screwed up in the head. Um, it's something that we just have to deal with. Just like with Felicia, you know, women are just going to come in here and say stupid shit. It's just, it's just life. Right. And we have to learn as men to accept, uh, women's, uh, dysfunctional behavior and either get rid of them or either, you know, deal with them. So when men complain about women, they don't understand how screwed up women are right and when you get an understanding of it you'll know how to deal with it regulate it set boundaries with it pull away from it stay close to it instead of just sitting here whining about women see like me i don't whine about women women i make videos of women whining about men i'll say it again I don't whine about women. I don't do videos whining about women. I do videos about women whining about men. There's a difference. Because I understand women. Okay? I understand women. And I help men understand women. And I help women understand themselves. So when y'all are around other women and y'all are just saying all this stupid mess and your homegirl's like, yes, girl, you're right. These men are trash. And you come to my channel and then you are able to see what actually is going on in your little brains. Now you're like, wow. This is interesting, right? And this is the reason why I like to break things down so you as a woman can understand why y'all do what y'all do and how delusional a lot of y'all are so you will learn from your own delusion or learn from other women's delusion that's what i'm simply here to do help you learn from other women's delusion because a lot of y'all are just like these other women and before we keep going hit the like button hit the like button hit the like button hit the like button let's go to a commercial i'm going to go back to this church video and you're going to see what happens that happen next car game We'll have fun and see if we're compatible all at the Hey, how about we meet up at a coffee shop and play this fun dating card game? We'll have fun and see if we're compatible all at the same time. Ooh, what's the name of the game? It's called Deeper Discussions. Hmm, I'm down. Okay, meet you at six. Fellas, buy this car game. Ladies, buy this car game. Buy about two or three car games and give them out for Christmas. The main reason why people can't stay together isn't because they don't like each other no more. It's actually because their present family issues come up or their past family issues come up. But when you play deeper discussions, you'll be able to understand a person's family issues up front. This game can be played with either two people or an entire group. 
So have fun. Question number one. Name a time when money was the main factor why a relationship went bad. Deeper discussions dating edition. Again, these cards are good for vetting a potential boyfriend, Candidate. a potential girlfriend, a potential husband, a potential wife. The texture of these cards are so soft and silky, by the way. Like, like they ain't gonna like get really wore out. Durable. <laughs>
Boom. Okay. So if anybody wants to buy my car game, anybody wants to buy my uh, family empowerment t-shirts, uh, hit the link in the chat. Buy my car game. Because the thing about it is, ladies, instead of sitting around complaining about how there aren't any good men out there over and over and over again, how about you just buy my card game and it will actually help you not find a man, but bet a man so you won't get caught up with the wrong man. Because the thing about it is what we're going to learn today in this you know, whole conversation is, it's not that y'all can't find a man, it's that y'all can't attract a good man. And when you and if you do attract a good man, you can't keep a good man. But if you play my card game with the man, you would be able to ask him questions without being weird. You know, sometimes y'all want to ask a, a, a question to a dude that you really want to know, and it's too early, and you kind of weird things out. But if you play this card game with men, guess what? You'll get a better understanding of who the man is, and if y'all are equally yoked. Thank you, uh, Levante. Levante. So here's another example. A lot of you ladies say, oh, Kingsley says, how much is a card game? Thank you for um, reminding me. Car, the car, my uh, Deeper Discussions card game is actually on sale for today only for $19. It was $28, and it's going to go back up to $28, but thought I'd do a little sale because uh, I have uh, uh, Facebook ads running, and I wanted to uh, offer a sale to my Facebook ads. So shout out to uh, Kingsley in Florida. You can order the card game. It'll be sent to you in florida so today only while you're watching this video right now buy my card game and you'll be able to get it for uh 19 instead of 28 dollars. so i didn't want to do a certain percent off i just wanted to just make it 19 dollars. so everybody watching right now who has not bought my card game but you have heard about it deeper discussions right now it's only $19 and it's only $19 for today. So if you have always wanted a car game or if you wanted to buy four of them, you know, for Christmas gifts, go to the link in my chat right now. The link is. Sorry, sorry, y'all. Once I hit the once I hit the button, I was like, it's over. I just there's a button on my uh on my thing that actually knocks. I don't know why it does that. But right now, everybody watching this video, my card game is $19 versus $28, which means not only can you buy a card game for yourself, but you can buy like three other card games for other people and give them away for Christmas gifts. So the link is in the chat. Buy the card game right now because I'm only uh, having this sale for today. I'm trying to get out bulk purchases. So let me put it in the chat and then we're going to get back to the video. Hit the like button, y'all. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. So let me put it in the chat and then we're going to get back. Hold on. Oh, this is the deeper discussions channel. Hold on, y'all. Mm, boom, here we go. Oh, this is the deeper discussions channel. Hold on, y'all. All right, so I got it up. It's pinned at the top of the chat. Everybody, buy my car game, buy my car game while it's only $11. I mean, uh, not $11, $19. Buy my car game right now while it's only $19. So let's go back to the video. I got to uh, bring these freaking videos back up. All right, here we go. For those of us who are in church and then that our men are no 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 come here for real for real listen if you're a single man no 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 i'm not i'm, I'm not playing i'm not doing that i'm not do, i'm not gonna do you like that i'm not gonna do you like that i want to make a point if you're a single man i want you to stand up if you can't physically stand up if you're unmarried i want you to stand up all right now if you're a single man 
If you're a single man and you're in any one of our overflow rooms, please come over here real quick. Look at her. Look at her. Hold on. Look, 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 look at her. Look at her. Watch how she gets frustrated. Watch this. Please come over here real quick. Why? Why is she acting like that? Watch now, this. Watch if you're a single acts. man, if you're a single man and you're in any one of our overflow rooms, please come over here real quickly. I just want to make if she wants a man, if she wants somebody to approach her, if she wants what she says she wants, why is she acting like that? This is what you want, right? But the problem is she knows those men don't want her. Uh oh, hold on. Let me make sure. Yo, uh, put a one in the chat if y'all can see me and hear me. I just want to make sure because I, I, I messed something up. Put a one in the chat if y'all can hear me and see me. I just want to make sure because when I drop myself off, I want to make sure I ain't screwing nothing up. Make sure my audio is good. Okay, just want to make sure. All right, what's up, Elaine? All right, we keep going. I just want to make sure. Hit a like button, hit a like button, hit a like button, hit a like button. Good point. I want to come up here. Move down something, move down something for me. All right, y'all. Hey, do me a favor. Turn around, face me, and back up a little bit. Face me, face me. Let them come in, let them come in, let them come in. Let them come up front if you don't mind. Back up a little bit, make room, face me. Stay right here, stay right here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, all the way across, come right here, my brother. Come right here. Y'all fill in this space right here. Fill in this space. Fill in What's up, Tony? Fill in this space. Fill in this space. I'm saying. So how many men do you think is in the, in the crowd right now? 10, 20, 50, 100? How many men do y'all see in the crowd? Hold on, let me bring it back so y'all can see. and Put it on the big screen. How many men do you see in the crowd right now? And just... In, in estimation, because she said there are no single black men in this church. 50. I think it's more than 50. It's like, let's see, three, six, nine, 12, 50. Yeah, it's about 50. I'll say about 40 or 50, right? So, because this is going to get even crazier, because what happens next is going to be hilarious so everybody hit the like button because some of y'all have not hit the like button because what's going to happen next is going to be hilarious hit the like button right now everybody hit the like button right now because what's next is going to be about is is is, is going to have you laughing all right so we ready watch what happens next fill in this space fill in this space fill in this space I'm saying all these men right here are single men, right? All you need is one. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about the stats. All you need, hey! Go get them. Look at all the men. Pause. That don't even sound right, but. <laughs> but look at all the brothers that are in this this is more than 40. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So this is one. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's like eight across the bottom, right? So if you do eight, probably eight again and eight again. So that's like one row, two row, three row, four row, five row, six row, seven row, eight row, probably nine row. Yeah, that's about 50. Yeah, that's about 50. That's about 50, 60 black men that are single, right? And ladies, ladies, real quick. Do these men look good or are they ugly? Or like, would you date any of these men that are in the chat? I mean, not in the chat, in this video right here. So ladies, right now, say yes or no. If you see a man that is in this crowd that you would date, say yes or no. I'm going to play it. Say yes or no. Any of these men in this crowd, you would date. 
Yes or no right now? Because I want to know. Just look at the guys. Any men in this crowd that you would actually date? Ladies, yes or no? I'll take about five or six of them. That's what uh, uh, Stacy said. All right, you looking at the men, right? So they're not ugly men. They're not short men. They're not fat men. They're not, you know, they, they dressed okay. I just want to check, right? So a lot of you ladies are saying they're decent men. They're good looking men. And okay. So I just wanted to make sure from the ladies watching that she has a good choice of men. All right. So we did that, right? So here comes the funny part. Here comes the funny part right here. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about the stats. All you need is one. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Hey. So before, before I show you the end, because the ending is going to be a hilarious, before we go to the end, I want to play this. Men that were God fearing that actually follow God, then we would want to follow them. Problem is, I just said the majority of our men lack spirituality. You I don't need to find one. All, All you need is one man. One. Oh, I don't have a problem. Listen, hold up. One hold man. Up. Can Get you. Shout out to the Lapeep Network. Shout out to Jr. Can one I man, you be good. Just go find a one man. That's why me and Mr. Lego kept saying, "All you need is one." Why are you complaining about the ones that are knuckleheads when because all you need is I one? Because when the problem I get is one, that one don't want her. Well, that so one man that you want don't want you. That's the case no, for all y'all unmarried no. asses. The man that you actually want doesn't want you because you have some issues. So you want to be led, but you want to be led by the man that you want. But you haven't done the work in order to get that man so now you have to settle for these men that y'all love to complain about but all you really have to do is work on yourself stop blaming us and the man that you want will want you back and he will lead you and you will be happy but apparently that's too complicated but instead you rather wait around for somebody to tolerate your issues and hope that man sticks around so y'all gonna continue to have crappy lives until you fix yourself you want to blame us for everything but it's your issues that you don't want to deal with so stay out here with these men that y'all love to complain about because that's all you can actually get get you a good man by being a good woman by working on yourself and that's the thing that y'all ladies don't want to do. Y'all don't want to work on yourselves. Y'all just want to sit around and whine and complain about men until, and, and, it, and it's really sad how like the whining and complaining just never goes away. It just never goes away. And I'm going to play the end of the video. Hold on. I just want to show y'all something. Because I, I just want to give y'all some examples of how y'all are, y'all never stop. With these said how Why? black men really hate black women. Next time you see me have a baby, I will be married to a white man. I promise y'all, he gonna be white. He gonna be European. So I don't know the one, this woman's name, but this is um, uh, rapper Gunplay's uh, baby mama, right? And she deliberately and. For those who don't know, rapper Gunplay isn't necessarily a rapper. He's a goon of another rapper. He's Rick Ross's goon, right? You know, a lot of the rappers, they have goons, and they'll let the goon rap sometimes, but they are trash. But as long as he's a goon, he'll let them rap a little bit. So Gunplay didn't really make any money in the, in the industry. Uh, he's a pookie. Uh, according to what she said, because I don't put – uh crap on nobody else's name but she said he was a drug addict and he had all these drug problems and she knew about the drug problems before they had the baby as you can see this baby is not even one years old yet right so she was with this man for years but the second she had the baby by the man now she wants to say He's trash. He's broke. He's a drug addict. Why? 
that's another video we're going to talk about but just listen to this woman who has a baby by a bum talk about how terrible men it are but you had the baby with a bum that you knew was a bum and a drug addict before the baby was conceived it is so sad how black men really hate black women next time you see me have a baby i will be married to a white man i promise y'all he gonna be white he gonna be european he gonna be from you know saudi arabia it's gonna be something exotic dating a drug dealer i felt more feminine than i ever felt in my life the best gifts i ever had in my life they know they know drug dealers i like scammers a nine to five i don't even work a nine to five <laughs> what's your type what you i like, like drug dealers <laughs> Dark she like drug dealers and scammers, y'all. They gotta have money. The 95 money. guy or a perk head drug dealer with money. The plain Another another example of a woman just whining and making excuses. I have nothing against the plain Jane female. I mean, they like the females who they make up done, a female who doesn't really get their hair done often. The plain Jane female. Why is it so hard for us pretty girls? to come across a decent guy. It just seemed like all the guys, the good guys always like cuff the plain Jane females. So I'm showing you that it's not just this woman in this church. It's not just the little ratchet chicks that say they want a drug dealer. It's not just the wig wearers. It's dysfunctional women who don't want to work on themselves and all y'all love to do all y'all love to do it's like a sport for y'all all, all y'all love to do is say men are trash is the men's fault and this you said how black men really hate black women it's just now we hate black women because we don't want to be with some of y'all <laughs> I got another it example. It is so sad how black men really hate black women. Next time you see me have a baby, I will be married to a white man. No, you won't. I promise y'all. No, no, no white, white man he wants you. European. He gonna be from you know Saudi Arabia. It's gonna be something exotic. Dating a drug dealer, I felt more feminine than I ever felt in my life. The Here's another gift. example. Here's Honestly, a lot of you men don't. Here's another example, y'all. It never stops. I mean, honestly, a lot of you men don't like women. Like, you don't like women as a whole. You don't like women as human beings, but you like vagina. And if you want facts, I'll give it to y'all in another video. But a lot of you men don't like women. Y'all like vaginas. I think most men do not like women. Hetero men like our vaginas but they don't want that relationship aspect of the relationship you know the part that actually makes it a relationship they want to know how you can make their life easier and what you are willing to do for them they feel like we were put on this earth to serve them so why would they have loving emotions towards somebody that they see already as someone who's supposed to just service their needs at all times he got with you. He married you because of what you could do. Y'all, it's sad. It's pathetic how so many women, because I'm showing y'all multiple women, and I can keep going. <sighs> All y'all want to do is blame men for not wanting you. Do we not have a choice? Do we not have options? Are you ladies angry that you don't look good enough or you don't act right enough for somebody to want you and it's our fault? Because the thing about it is, if you just look at these two women here, you just look at these two women here, that woman and this woman. I mean, honestly, a lot of you men don't like women. Like, you don't like women. 
a lot of the women that sit around and complain look disgusting. This woman looks like a a a a, a bag. Oh, you don't like women as she looks like a wet bag of clothes. She looks like a dirty uh bag of dirty clothes. I mean, honestly, a lot of you men don't like women. Like you don't like women as a Do y'all are y'all aware that men are visually stimulated? We are we 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 want to see a good looking woman. But we're gonna get into something else too. Shout out to Andre and Andrea. I appreciate you for the super chat. These are the same men getting their passports and finding love with amazing black women in other countries, while black women claim they don't want or need them. It's crazy how they love lying to themselves. I agree. I agree. And shout out to Andre because for a while I was like, yo, what's wrong with the passport bros? What's wrong with these guys? Right. And I was just like, they can't get a woman here. And so they go to another country. But I'm starting to see they're sick of the woman here whining about us and we're not doing anything wrong so i agree with the passport bros i agree with andre and it took me a minute to just see what actually is going on and the reason why i was and not anymore hit the like button y'all hit the like button i was against the passport bros because i was actually on the side of women I was on the women's side. I was actually trying to see what women were saying and I was going against the men. But after all of these examples, I'm easily starting to see that it's the women. Been against the plain Jane female. I mean, they like the females with their makeup done, a female who doesn't really get their hair done often. The plain Jane female. Why is it so hard for us pretty girls to come across a decent guy. Happy Saturday, brother. It just seemed like all the guys, the good guys always like cuff the plain Jane female. It, it it just never ends. Every time you turn around, they, they shit is crazy. I want the power of a man so badly. Y'all don't even want men to be leaders because y'all want to be leaders. Y'all have so many problems with men and y'all want men to be soft and act like women so y'all can actually become men. Y'all have penis envy. And that's the problem. That's the real problem right there, y'all. Women love to sit around and complain about men not being leaders, men not being providers. Sometimes we leaders and providers would give y'all, you know, D-rated women a chance. But even a D, well, partly part of what makes you D-rated women unattractive is not always your looks. Well, it's not always your weight because, you know, a lot of these D-rated women are, they're overweight, right? But some of y'all be pretty. Some of y'all be fine. But the problem with that is you're still a D-rated woman because of up here. Because of the things that y'all prioritize. Y'all prioritize the wrong things. See, some of you ladies are literally D-rated women. And y'all think y'all should get an A-rated man. But you ain't did nothing for yourself. Just like you want a man to, to make some money, you want a man to, to, to keep himself up, you want a man to look good, you want a man to have a six pack or at least go to the gym, but you don't go to the gym. Yeah, Erica, yeah, some of y'all be cute, but y'all ain't cute in the brain. Some of y'all just don't have no sense. Shout out to uh, uh, Kung Guru. He says, or they say, uh, I have no problem getting, yeah. 
he says, I have no problem get win getting women here, but I also have an overseas woman that I look out for. And whatever I, oh, well, when, whenever I go, oh, whenever I go there, she slim cooks and tempts me to marry her. And it's a possibility that you may end up marrying her because she has sense. Can't see how it's one. I can, I can see how it's one sided. Now, look, I've always said a lot of these men have issues also. A lot of these dudes are broke. A lot of these dudes are pookies. A lot of these dudes are, are like Puff Daddy and they run around like psh, 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 doing crazy stuff, right? I understand that, right? I do understand that. But why don't you ladies do the thing that we do to y'all? What do we do? We take you out. We hang out with you. We date you. And when we see that you are insufferable, malcontempt, cantankerous, problematic, you have bad habits. You don't know how to stop cussing. You either are emotionally unavailable or you're emotionally unstable. And we just get rid of your ass. And we just move on to somebody else. Why can't y'all do that? Because I'm going to make a whole show. I'm going to do a whole show about how you ladies don't leave a man until you had a baby with him. I'm going to talk about that in a, at a, on another show. But a lot of you ladies don't start complaining about a man that you're with until after you had a baby with the man. So y'all complain about us like we're, we're, we're pieces of trash, but y'all have babies with pieces of trash. The majority of you ladies, your first baby daddy and probably your second baby daddy, but most definitely your first baby daddy, your first baby daddy was a bum and a loser. And he was, psh, 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 psh. he was doing that to you too. But you waited until you got pregnant by him to get rid of him. Kiki Palmer, as an example. This woman right here. How black men really hate black women. Next time you see me have a baby, I will be married. She was with her man for like years, but apparently they didn't have any ch ch kids together for whatever reason, but she didn't never get rid of him. She knew he was a bum, but she didn't leave until she had a baby with him. All right, so now we're gonna go back to the church video and we're going to show I'm going to show you what happens at the end. Put a one in the chat if y'all are ready to find out what happens at the end. Does this woman get a man? This is going to be hilarious. Put a one in the chat if you're ready to get back to the church video and find out what happens at the end. This is going to be hilarious. All of those men out there Eligible bachelors, single men. Let's go. Us who are in church and then so I'm going to play the whole video and I'm not going to pause it at, at no point. Like we're hearing that, you know, it's best to find somebody in church or find somebody, you know. I say best to find somebody in Christ. In Christ. Okay. You're right. not the and let me know what y'all think that's going to happen uh, to her in the chat before it happens. I want to see if y'all know what is going to happen at the end. Uh, in your opinion, Same. but the problem that I that I've had and people that I know is that how can single women find someone or meet someone? I'm gonna say fine, meet someone when 90% of the church is uh women, and then the 10% that are men are already married, their wives are already there, usually. So, what are we supposed to do? Well, we come, do? Here. come here, come here, <laughs> hey, no, 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 come here for real, for real, <clears throat> listen. If you're a single man, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm, I'm not playing. I'm not doing that. I'm not, do, I'm not going to do you like that. I'm not going to do you like that. I want to make a point. If you're a single man, I want you to stand up. 
If you can, physically stand up. If you're unmarried, I want you to stand up. All right? Now, if you're a single man, if you're a single man and you're in any one of our overflow rooms, please come over here real quickly. I just want to make a point. I want to come up here. Move down something. Move down something for me. All right, y'all. Hey, do me a favor. Turn around, face me, and back up a little bit. Face me, face me. Let them come in, let them come in, let them come in. Let them come up front, if you don't mind. Back up a little bit, make room, face me. Stay right here, stay right here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, all the way across, come right here. My brother, come right here. Y'all fill in this space, right here. Fill in this space, fill in this space. Fill in this space. I'm saying all these men right here are single men, right? All you need is one. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about the stats. All you need, hey! Go get them, go get them, go get them. Hey! Don't worry about everybody else. One. Go online, datingchristiandating.com or something. So right here, right here. Hold on, y'all. Facebook has messed up. Uh, people on Facebook, if y'all can see me, hit the hit the put a one in the chat. I don't know what heck just happened to Facebook, but Facebook, if y'all can see me, put a one in the chat. Let's see. Facebook just kind of like cut out. So people on Facebook, I just want to make sure before we keep going. People on Facebook, if y'all can see me, put a one in the chat. I can't stand. I know what I know what happened. Let's see. Yeah, it totally erased my freaking video. But put a one in the chat if you can see me on Facebook. Just want to make sure y'all are y'all are good. All right, so let's keep going. Facebook will come back on. All right, somebody said she, she can lose some weight. Okay, all right, so here we go. Everybody put a one in the chat on Facebook because something went wrong with Facebook. We got to get y'all back on here. All right, so watch this, y'all. When everybody, when all the men start started walking off. Fill in this space, fill in this space. Fill in this space. I'm saying all these men right here are single men, right? All you need is one. You ain't got to worry about the stats. All you need, hey! Go get them, go get them, go get them. Hey! Don't worry about everybody else. One. Go online, datingchristiandating.com or something. So... Watch what happens right here. Watch what happens right here, y'all. So first, we all know why. Hold on. I missed it. So when they start walking off, where is it? All right, here we go. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about the stats. All you need. Hey! All right, here we go. So, so right here, everybody is walking back to their seats. Everybody is walking back to their seats, right? Look at her. She's up here in the corner, right here in the corner, up here in the left-hand corner. Put a one in the chat if y'all can see her. She's right up here in the left-hand side. None of the dudes are checking for her. Look, they just walking out. Watch this. Don't worry about everybody else. So that's her right there. One. Go online, datingchristiandating.com or something. 50 men. 50 men walking past her. 50 men walking past her. Why didn't anybody want them? Why did any of the men want her? Right. 
They just keep blaming men for being this and blaming men for being that. But why didn't 50 men want her? Over 50 men were up there and none of the men wanted her. All of them walked straight past her. Why? Why did all these men walk past her? 50 some men. They didn't even look at her. Watch. They didn't even uh, touch her, say hey to her, give her a hug. Look. They didn't even look at her. Not one man even looked at her. Why? Erica says, because men go after what they want. See, if this woman actually was fine, if this woman was actually attractive, they would have walked straight over to her. 50 men, 50 men, 50, 50 men walk straight past this woman. 50 men walk straight past this woman. See, ladies, whether you look like this, where is she? Hold on. Hold on. Whether you look like this woman right there. No, uh uh. Bring, bring. If you look like her, or if you look like her, or well, you don't like, if you look like her, this woman looks like a, 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 a bag of wet clothes. If you look at like, if you look like her. She has this, what, I don't know what this under boob mess is. What, what's up, what's under her boob? She has under boob. It's like she has two, two boobs or something, right? We men don't want a woman that does not know how to take care of her body. I'll say it again. Men don't want a woman that is grossly overweight. Men don't want women that don't know how to take care of their own bodies. And it's really sad. Y'all can sit around and blame men until your, your brains expo explode. But nothing's going to change until, until, What's wrong with your life? It messed up again, y'all. Hold up, let's see. All right, it's 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 going now. I don't I don't know. Facebook be tripping. Facebook be tripping, y'all. Yeah. So everybody on Facebook right now. All right, you good? Thank you, uh, Le Levante. I need everybody on Facebook right now to one, hit the like button again, because it's probably going to be a new like. So everybody who has already hit the like button, hit the like button again, because we back up. It's, it's back running. And I need everybody to reshare the video. So, so for those who share the video, reshare it again, because it messed up. So y'all coming back on. All right. So we good. We good. But everybody hit the like button again, because this is now a new Facebook video, and everybody reshare the video because Facebook uh, just dropped my whole video. It's messed up. So everybody do that for me. Re-like the video and reshare the video. All right. So the thing about it is, y'all. Um, and I'm a, I'm gonna drop the link also. Somebody wants to come on here. 
Andre, if anybody else, uh, you or anybody else, if y'all want to come up on here, um, because like I said, I want to have a whole discussion about this if y'all want to. Why is it that women will be extremely disciplined when it comes to getting their degree? Women would be extremely disciplined when it comes to getting their degree. Y'all will spend six years in college and y'all have 12 different degrees. Y'all got graduate degrees, doctorate degrees. Y'all have all of these degrees. So y'all have discipline inside of you. It's there. But for some reason, y'all never seem to have or show that same discipline in the gym. So I asked the other day, why is it that you ladies would spend all of this time at the hair salon and all this time in college? But the one thing that y'all never seem to spend time on is in the gym. Or actually, two things in the therapist's office you'll go to the you'll go to the hair salon religiously you'll go to college religiously and then go back to college and then go back to college again religiously but you won't go to the gym You won't go to therapy. Oh, cat, yeah, and the hair and the nail salon. So you'll go to college, the hair salon, and the nail salon, but you won't go to the gym. You won't go to therapy. And I'm gonna go even farther. Hit the like button, y'all. Hit the like button, hit the like button. I'll go even farther. You'll go to another country and lay on a table and let them put a uh, 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 suck the fat out your belly and put it in your butt and almost lose your life. And some of y'all lose y'all lives. But the ones that lose, lost their lives aren't on this live because y'all lost your lives. Some of y'all will almost lose. So you'll lose your, you'll risk your life to have a good body. You'll risk your life to have a better looking body. You'll spend six years in college in order to become, to become educated. You'll spend thousands of hours in the hair salon so they can glue a wig on your head. This is dedication. But you won't go to the gym. Can anybody explain this to me? This is a phenomenon with black women. You'll risk your life. You'll spend millions of hours in the hair salon. But you won't go to the gym for an hour a week. And y'all run around. And because this is what's crazy. This is some of y'all's lives right here. You'll be in a club, in an environment, in a store, in a Target and is thousands of men walking around every day. Thousands of men walking around every day. And this ends up happening to you. Those thousands of men. Oh, crap. What in the world? 
Yo, Facebook is really tripping. I don't know what's going on with Facebook. I don't know what's going on with Facebook. But this is a lot of your lives right here. Those thousand men that you run across on a daily basis, they walk straight past you right here. This is your life. Look, the dudes are hugging each other, but they're not hugging the woman. Watch this. The dudes are literally hugging each other. Watch. They're hugging each other, but they're not even walking up to the, the dudes are walking up to each other. But none of them are walking up to her. Why? Well, this is why. Don't want to go to the gym. She go to church and complain about men. Church and she go to church and, and complain about men all day. For those of us who are in church and then like we're hearing that, you know, it's best to find somebody in church or find somebody. You know, I say best find somebody in Christ. In Christ, okay, you're right. it's not the same. Right. But the problem that I that I've had and people that I know is that how can single women find someone or meet someone? I'm gonna say find meet someone when ninety percent of the churches are uh, women. Exactly, uh, uh, Fe Fe uh, Fejus, I think that's your name. Y'all, you ladies would sit in a Popeyes drive-through. But you won't go to the gym. So that's another thing. Thank you. Y'all will sit around in a Popeye's drive through Y'all will go to college. Y'all will spend all this time in another country trying to get a BBL. Y'all will spend all these undying hours in a hair salon but you will spend no time in the gym. A lot of y'all spend more time in fast food drive throughs than you do at a gym. Why is this? I'm, I'm, I'm asking y'all, why is this? But let's keep going. Let's keep going. Disgusting. Y'all want men to start acting like bitches so y'all could turn around and start acting like men. The shit is disgusting. No, we actually want our men to be able to communicate their emotions with us in relationships like and they that's do. Not with crying. Wait, 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 I'll let you finish. Like y'all do with each other. We're starting to we believe that each other. We're starting to believe that your bromances are more important than your romances. It actually no. is. I we don't cry with each other. So right here, now it's the men like each other more than they like men. I mean, uh, women, right? Just like this woman said. Don't oh, like God. women. Why isn't it playing? Video. All right, hold on a second, y'all. We're not going, we're not. I mean, honestly, a lot of you men don't like women. Like, you don't like women as a whole. You don't like women as human beings, but you like vagina. And if you want facts, I'll give it to you on another. Yes, it actually is, uh, Ali. You know why? Because another man can help me fix a car another man can help me stay alive he can if, land the bed I, with you too if all see he can land the bed with you too it's, it's crazy he can lay in the bed with you too because we don't want to be with y'all because y'all have 
issues up here. Dudes is, is like other dudes. Yeah, there goes a gay comment. Exactly. Exactly. But when you pull back the veil and see things happen in real time with this little uh, uh, chubby woman, with all these men. Y'all fill in this space here. right here. Fill in this space. Fill in this space. There are plenty of men out here for you ladies. Fill in this space. But just like. I'm saying all these men right here are single men, right? All you need is one. <laughs> but I, I'm on, I want to disagree with the pastor. All you need is one isn't really the problem. She knows all you need is one. The actual problem is all you need is to go to the gym. All you need is to stop eating fried chicken. But y'all would rather spend time in the Popeye's drive through in the hair salon instead of going to therapy and going to the gym. And then because of that, this ends up happening to you. All of y'all. Men you hey. want just walk straight past you and don't even look at you because you're not attractive. You know why this woman has his pantsuit on? You know why this woman has his pantsuit on, right? Because that's all she can wear. And then another thing, y'all. She's in church with a blue jean suit on. Talking about she can't find a man. You in church with a blue jean outfit on. But look at the men. The men got suits on. They got turtlenecks on. They got button down shirts on. Who's even dressed better? Do the men have blue jean suits on? No. So as a woman is how you are portraying yourself, how you show up in the world is the actual problem. What you prioritize is the problem. But like I said, y'all love to just blame men for everything. Hell breaks loose and we go to war. Or I don't care. What percentage of men would you say are good men? And I'm talking about marriageable men. What percentage men of men would you are, say are marriageable wait a minute. men? I'm saying men that are capable of leading and providing for a family. We are. Hold on, let me back it up a little, little bit. Hit a like button, hit a like button, hit a like button, hit a like button. I'm teaming up with at least five, six men, and we're going to figure that shit out. No goddamn. Let me ask you a question. Here we go. I don't care. What percentage of men would you say are good men? And I'm talking about marriageable men. What percentage men of men would are, you say are marriageable wait a minute. I'm saying men that are capable of leading and providing for a family. We are at a scarcity of that in our community. You have to be able to provide. <laughs> you have to be able to lead. If the black man is making from the age of 29 to 39 between 25 to 40,000 that's how can he sustain a family what percentage of men in your opinion just around that you see men in general would you say are marriageable men it's not about salary i think people need to match on I'm their asking level. about salary i don't I'm care you the one that brought up salary ali I brought it up about? for reasons because if you're 39 making 40,000 and a, and the educated black woman is making six figures. Stop getting all these degrees, please. For heaven's sakes, if black women 
are the most educated. How is that going to work? That means she's a provider. That means she's a provider. Making six figures. If black women are the least paid and the most educated, that math ain't mathing. That one plus one ain't equal. It's not equal to two. It's equal to zero. Y'all hear that, right? Y'all hear that, right? Hit a like button, hit a like button, hit a like button, hit a like button. Oh, good you the one that brought up salary, Ali. The hell I are you brought talking it up about? for a reason because if you're 39 making 40,000 and a, and the educated black woman is making six figures. Stop getting all these degrees. Please, for heaven's sakes, if black women are the most educated. How is that going to work? That means she's a provider. That means she's a provider. Making six figures. If black women are the least paid and the most educated, that math ain't mathing. That one plus one ain't equal. It's not equal to two. It's equal to zero. Why are y'all getting all these degrees? Y'all don't make sense. I said, I said, if you can't give me an answer on how many men are bad, aren't good, See, men are visually stimulated, like I said earlier. We're not college stimulated. But this is simply another way for women to complain about why they can't find a man that actually wants to be with them. Exactly, Tyra. The educational system is a scam. But it literally makes black women think that they are over black men, but you don't even make any money. But none of that matters. If women were to turn around and start prioritizing their looks and their fitness and their weight, instead of their education that doesn't make them any money in the first place, You'll be able to attract a husband and, of course, prioritize getting therapy. See, I don't have a degree because I don't need a degree. I make more money than the typical person that has a degree. I don't need all that stuff. But one thing I do and two things I do is I go to therapy and I go to the gym. Because I'm not stupid. I'm not going to spend all of my life in college just to make $50,000 a year like some idiots do. I'm going to focus on going to the gym, eating right. I don't go to nobody's drive through I can't remember the last time I've been in a drive through I went to uh, uh uh I went and bought some fries. I went I went and got some fries only at a uh 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 um freaking uh what what was it Chick Fil A uh w one time, and I was like, yo, I ain't been in a th drive through in so long, and it was crazy. So I prioritize my health, I prioritize my fitness, and I prioritize my uh, emotional well-being. And I prioritize my money also. So I focus on the things that make sense instead of the things that don't make sense. I'm a vegetarian. Shout out to Tyra. Tyra is a vegetarian. I tried doing that before. But the thing about it is, instead of me going to, going to uh, college for six years, I spent one year creating a Deeper Discussions card game. college I, I, I go to the gym i go to therapy i create products i do content so shout out to just my four cents so every black woman on youtube has a degree nope bs if channel creators require people to cam up also require them to show the degree before bragging 
I'm I'm a little confused. Uh, just my four cents. Uh, and I, I I may be uh not understanding your your actual comment. So every black woman on YouTube has a degree. I don't. Where did that come from? No, nobody cared, Nobody said anything about black women on social media having a degree. We're talking about just black women. Period. That's all they love to sit around and 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 uh. Because that's what they're saying, right? She's saying it right here. It's always black men don't make enough money. Well, find a man that makes enough money. Good enough? Then that means you don't know. I don't. But I, I, I can. If black women are the least paid and the most educated, that math ain't mathing. That one plus one ain't equal, it's not equal to two. It's equal to zero. Why are y'all getting all these degrees y'all don't make I said, sense I said, if you can't give me an answer on how many men are bad aren't good enough then that means you don't know i don't but i, I, I can, can rock with you when you say you look at the world and you mr. say there are enough good men for you mr sweeney i'm just talking about the fact that what's disheartening is the fact that when we go into our black communities where there's actually a majority of black people there's a lot of crime there's a lot of a violence right. can i jump in now Cause I'm, I'm sick of this shit. Ali, who is raising the people that are committing all the goddamn crimes? What? Why are we blaming women again? Ooh, there's something called a Willie Lynch letter. And in the book, it says, the black woman is the catalyst to good economics. What does that mean? That means just like how Satan manipulated Eve's stupid ass. I'm about to go crazy on this part. What's going go, on, bro? Go get him. Go get him, champ. Go get him. <laughs> so let me play this part real quick and I'm gonna come back. All right. Hold on one second. Oh, yeah. I'm about to go. I'm about to cook right here. I'll just have you right here. All right. So I want y'all to listen to this. And all of this is correlating to one thing. Women create their own problem. All right. So when women sit around and complain about how they can't find no good men or men are broke. Men are damaged. Men need therapy. Men aren't doing what they're supposed to do. Women have created this problem for themselves. And so uh, this young lady, Ali, was spending the whole show just whining about why black men aren't uh, doing what they're supposed to do. But listen to how I turn around and roast her ass. That aren't good enough? Then that means you don't know. I don't. But I, I, I can, can rock with you when you say you look at the world and you Please say there are enough good men for you. Mr. Sweeney, I'm just talking about the fact that what's disheartening is the fact that when we go into our black communities where there's actually a majority of black people, there's a lot of crime. There's a lot of right. There's a lot of crime, right? Of a violence. Right. Can I jump in now? Because I'm I'm sick of this shit. Ali, who is raising the people that are committing all the goddamn crimes? What? Why are we blaming women again? Ooh. There's something called a Willie Lynch letter. And in the book, it says the black woman is the catalyst to good economics. What does that mean? That means just like how Satan manipulated Eve's stupid ass to bite the apple. You got to think about that. He didn't get an ad on to bite the apple. He went and got the dumbest person to bite the apple. And just like white America has an understanding that they don't go to men and try to manipulate us because it doesn't work. They go to the stupider sex to manipulate them and have them doing dumb shit. See the difference between y'all and us. Thinking process of the African woman. I just want to go to the Willie Lynch letter just in case y'all don't know what that is. Take the female and run a series of tests on her to see if she will submit to your desires willingly. Test her in every way because she is the most important factor for good economics. Because she is the most important factor for good economics. Because she is the weaker, most manipulative, the, the most gullible uh, sex between the men and the woman. Nature had provided for this type of balance. We reversed nature by her being left alone, unprotected, with the male image destroyed. The ordeal caused her to move from her psychological dependent state to a frozen independent state. In this frozen psychological state of independence, she will raise her male and female offspring in reversed roles. 
in reverse roles. The ordeal caused her to move from her psychological dependent state to a frozen independent state. In this frozen psychological state of independence, she will raise her male and female offspring in reversed roles. For fear of the young male's life, she will psychologically train him to be mentally weak and dependent, but physically strong. For fear so right there, she will train her offspring, to, her male offspring to be mentally weak, but physically strong. So when you hear these women sit like around us. and complain about women, guess what? I mean, complain about men. They're the ones who actually created them. So go ahead, uh, brother. What, what, uh, Andre, what, what are your thoughts on all this? Uh, it, 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 when, when you sit back and you see what's going on uh, among women, whether it be black, white, modern women uh, in the States, you're absolutely correct in regards to their behavior pattern, especially when it comes to, let's start off with the degrees. Uh, mm -hmm. As an ex-college recruiter, uh, academic college recruiter of 20 years, yes, there are a lot of women that have degrees, but most women have useless degrees. The communications, the uh, psychology degree, I had a lot of students that want the massage therapy degrees. Uh, the the so so a lot of women. Yes, you have all these degrees, but you don't realize that you can look up the article I just posted it the other day that black women lead among college graduates with the most college debt. Yeah, and most of you don't lead in graduation. You lead in enrollments. Yes, you are the highest enrolled. You're not the highest graduates. You still rank number four among graduates. Actually, number three. You have the white male, the white female, then the black woman, and then the black man From when you look at it from that analogy. So mm -hmm. based off of my experience of 20 years of doing this with black women, I kid you not, you ladies are leaving colleges either not finishing off degrees or having useless degrees and now you got all these tons of college debts. And there are so many articles and so many headlines that have come out over the last year because, you know, they were doing the uh, college loan forgiveness and trying yeah. to get Biden to wipe away billions of dollars. And he didn't. And starting October 1st, all these sisters had to start paying back their college debt that was on hold for the last three years since the pandemic. Mm -hmm. All of these take, things take consideration going back to what video you just showed. It also showcased that you're right, sisters. What men are looking for is so simple. Get to your local gym. If you're seeing other women of other cultures going to the gym, it's not about just the aesthetics of that you are physically taking care of yourself. That's a part of it. Men are visual creatures throughout history. That's never going to change. Right. But the fact that you show that you care about your body, that means that you could care about my body in the body of our children but if yeah. you show me that going to the you know like you said the local drive-through is how you treat your body there is no way i could trust you as a man to take care of my body as well as the body or health of our children and i don't think women realize that they're not being receptive and i think that's one of the biggest problems that we're having in our community that women are not realizing that if they learn the art of just being receptive, let me really analyze what these men are saying. Is it true or not? I bet you women will start to make certain turns, but then it's starting to be too late because you got men such as myself that are taking our six feet, six packs, over six inches, and our six figures, and we're going to other countries. Facts. And we're finding women and we're married. So all of you that think that passport bros aren't getting married, that's a, not, that's a lie because I know quite a few brothers that I know that we meet up and have couples nights and we're all married and living in other countries happily. Facts. And the reason for this is because women in the States are not doing the simple things that you've been talking about on your program as well as other platforms have been talking about for, for a few quite a few years. Mm -hmm. Go to the gym, get fit. But learn to be more feminine. Be more friendly. Learn to smile on a photo. Little things. Smile when you're walking throughout your day. It's those little things that will cause you to stand out among other women who don't smile, who don't go to the gym, who aren't feminine, who don't put cake up on their face. 
It's past makeup. Makeup was the 80s and 90s and the early yep. 2000s. Women it's putting on cake up layers, <laughs> layers. This is cake up. This like this like frosting. They're putting frosting on their face. Not frosting. <laughs> Man, listen. <laughs> you know how like a cake. You know how you like got a chocolate cake and you yeah. put that frost, that white frosting on it, and the and the cover of the cake doesn't look like the actual cake itself. Yeah. In other words, you got women if they put their hand up to their face, it's completely mm -hmm. this cake up, not makeup yep. anymore. They put layer upon layers upon layers, and has it helped? That's the question. Oh. Is it a rate of return on their investment? Return on their investment in regards to if these women cake up their faces. Have they been getting more quality men? If these women okay. put on weaves, go ahead. Hold on, let, let me say this because I would say they're getting more attention, but not quality men. So, because I know women are turn around and say, "Oh yeah, y'all love uh women with wigs and all this and makeup and all this other stuff," right? So I do want to just bring that up because I know what y'all about to say in the, in the chat. Y'all are getting more attention, not quality men. But go ahead. I just wanted to say that. And that's that you're absolutely correct in regards yeah. to that. And I, I, when women sit back and say, talk about men that are leaving or just checking out, in other words, not dating modern women in the United States, women mm -hmm. say, well, you guys couldn't get us anyway. I'm here to tell you, ladies, there are a lot of us brothers that, that were running through y'all like crazy. Yeah. That's why we left. The sexual intimacy part was easy to get. America is a hookup country anyway. So to yeah. lay down with you, we're one of the few countries that say we got cuddle buddies. Mm -hmm. We got we're one of the few countries that say when wintertime comes, you got that person that you're going to be with for three or four months. You're going to be smashing him or her for a few. We, we're a hookup culture, yeah. one night stand culture. Mm -hmm. So to the, the, the intimacy part with you ladies, that was easy. Yeah. So a lot of passport bros, a lot of guys that have checked out, they've checked out because all they were getting was sex from you, mm -hmm. from the from the women that were from Aisha from the hood to the six, seven figure woman around the way. We all yeah. got great sex from you. But then Andre, once the, go ahead, brother. We, but we want more than sex from women. Right. That's where I was going with this. Yeah. That's where the problem kicked in. Once the we once we got the uh the 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 post nut clarity, if I could use that term on your on your on your show, yeah, we're looking at you like okay, now what else can I do to be parallel with this woman that I'm laying next to right now? And most of the time, there was nothing. Nothing you brought nothing that made me say, other than want to lay with you again, that made mm -hmm. many men say she's a keeper. Right, you were you weren't as fit as you could be. I'm going to the gym alone. You're not yeah. as feminine. I can't introduce you to my pastor, my co my friends, my boys because your femininity is so masculine, even though you're physically attractive. Yeah, and you're not friendly. I can't introduce you to, to people that will that that could feel comfortable with to say, man, you got your good one on your side. All yeah. my boys kept telling me is, man, she's sexy. I, I see why you hitting that, and a lot of other guys felt like that. Yeah. Ladies, a lot do of have to like bring it. Right. She got the cake up on. We all know that she looks nothing like that under once she starts peeling that off and she takes yep. the paint remover because a lot of them got to use paint remover now to take yeah, off she, that makeup. She fat. And, she got a wig on and she got a uh, um, uh, caked up makeup. <sighs> like what? what what is somebody supposed to do with all this? She look like she look like a bag of wet clothes. You know, and I'm just like, but but it, I don't I don't even know what to say anymore. Man. And there's a gym full of every other culture of women on every other corner. There are women that are getting in a car driving 20 miles if they have to to get to their favorite gym. Yep. And they're getting the men that they want because mm -hmm. they know that throughout history of time, not just now, but long after we're gone, men will still be visual creatures, ladies. You can't go to the law and have them change that with reckless eyeball and make it illegal for men to look at women. No, that's never going to happen. It's right. never the laws. It's how men, you can sit back and say, well, we'll have all the men get surgery. So they they won't look at us that way. No matter what you do, men are visual creatures first. Yeah. So we're going to notice you first and then see what else about you that makes you stand out from other women. Once again, makes you stand out from other women. That woman in that video 
from the church if she had been dressed in a way that made her stand out or right she, notice she stood there with her arms folded that's that's a, a physical a form of not being approachable when somebody has their arms folded is all she showed all the signs of the opposite of what she was saying what she was saying like a lot of women i want a man but her behavior and her actions just on this video look at her arms folded over there what man wants to approach a woman she looked like part over? of the security she does look how she hold, hold on what her arms stay full look she looked like she a part of the security uh team look at her correct women you have to realize that you have to do something to stand out from the norm but the beauty of it is this in a country of 70 percent women that are considered either overweight or obese just losing an extra 10 pounds will make you stand out from other women mm -hmm. just smiling when a man opens up a door for you will make you stand out from other women it's so simple to stand out from the norm now because the norm is so messed up ladies we're not attacking we just give you some tips on how men think it takes something slight something subtle just getting your my wife brought me a cup of coffee hey babe what, what are you doing right now let me go get you some coffee something subtle like that she was making coffee for herself anyway so she said well let me just pour two cups little things like a cup of coffee will make you stand out from the other women you want to stand out ladies and that's the problem you're not being receptive to what individuals such as myself or Mr. Let Go are, are trying to implement. You're just thinking that it's attack mode. They're coming at you. I don't believe him. If you start to be receptive to what he's saying about, go ahead, lose the extra 10 pounds. Let While you're losing 10 pounds, ladies, there's another woman that sits next to you in the cubicle over. She's gaining 10 pounds. Facts. When you're losing 20 pounds, there are a bunch of other women in that church putting on 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. You will stand out from the norm just based off the fact that you're trying to get yourself in other in, in order. And men will say, you know what? I'm seeing what this sister is doing. I'm interested in her because while she's taking off 10 pounds, I'm seeing all these other women over here putting on 10 pounds. Yeah. And it's it's like 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 I like I said, um, if if you just think about the average black woman. Uh, cause I go to, the, I go to different gyms, right? I go, it's a 24 hour gym and That's what I, go to. I could go to any gym. Right. So, and I'm always wearing jogging pants and stuff. Right. So in the middle of the day, I might be uh way out somewhere. I'm going to Google that gym and I'm going to stop and go to that gym there. So I, I like to go to different gyms because different gyms have different equipment. Right. Mm -hmm. And I love going to a gym that has a certain thing. And I'm like, yo, they got this, right? So I go to the, because uh, the, the gyms have different equipment. So I have a habit of going to different gyms in Atlanta. And it's different times. And I go to the gym almost every day. Never have I ever seen more than three black women in any gym that I've ever been to it might be three black women and like some white women but it's never more than three black women in any gym i've ever been to ever, ever. even ever. when it's like the little fitness area and when it's a whole is a is a is a whole bunch of women it'll only be like three women in there and the rest of them i mean three black women in there and the rest of them be white or um his, hispanic yep they don't go to the gym, but they. It, but if you go to any Popeyes drive-through, I bet there's a black woman sitting in front of you waiting before you uh, uh about to um order your food. Just go to a McDonald's drive-through and just ride by the drive-through, and I bet you're gonna see some fat black women in the drive-through ready to order some chicken nuggets. Facts. And and and, and but then they want to say that we're all tens realize attractive women hang out with attractive women because that keeps them psychologically encouraged mm -hmm. so it is with women that i noticed that are overweight mm -hmm. overweight women don't feel as overweight when you're around all overweight women mm -hmm. number two thing is get to the gym number three thing i mean uh, number one thing is get to your, your gym ladies number two thing that you want to do when it comes to your physical health you got to let go some of your friends that you've been hanging out with y'all big girls y'all hanging herds 
and it makes you feel comfortable. I said it just like elephant herds, wildebeest herds, just like herds of, of, of other uh, zebra herds. You big ladies hang out in herds to feel comfortable because mm -hmm. if she's 250 and you're only 205, you don't you feel, feel better about yourself. If you're 185, you don't feel, and they always have that one that if she was in the crowd of regular women that went to the gym, she's 165, she would be the big girl in a crowd of women that are fit. But yeah. since she's in a crowd of women that are over 200, her 165, she's the skinny one of the group. Mm -hmm. Women, the biggest thing that is hurting you when it comes to your health is not just your diet, not just you're not drinking water, and it's not just you're not going to the gym, but many of you are being hurt because you're hanging in herds. Once you start hanging out with groups, notice how I worded that? Groups yeah. of women that focus on their diet, their health, drinking water, things like that, I promise you, you'll become just like the crowd or the group that you're around. But while you're hanging out in herds, looking like cattle, looking yeah. like you should be in a rodeo and they should be throwing, and I'm not being, I'm not trying to be offensive, but I'm trying to be honest with yeah. you ladies. These little things are hurting you. The women that you're around that are other big girls, just because she's bigger than you and she psychologically makes you more comfortable, just like you ladies, like they say, lonely women make other women that create create lonely women, single mm -hmm. women create single women, big women create big women, big women. Facts. And bigger women create big women <clears throat> because you feel Facts. so psychologically comfortable eating what she's eating. Well, you know what? She ate, you know, she ate 45 oysters. I only ate 25 oysters. Right. Right. You see where I'm going with that? So, right. ladies, you're going to have to start slowly but surely weaning yourself. I'm not saying cut off all your girlfriends, your girlfriend from the fifth grade. But what I am saying, you're going to have to find a new group. You're going to have to go on uh, meetup.com and, and be and, and, and join some of those groups of people that are doing Pilates or people that's in a dance class. You say, you know, I want to learn salsa or bachata or whatever mm -hmm. it is, a new dance. Go to those groups where people are being active and physical physically active but yeah. and don't invite your girlfriends don't invite they big ass don't don't right you go and take your big 150 to that pilates class or that exercise or that or that or that dance class yourself and watch the new groups that you hang out with and watch how you slowly but surely take yourself away from the herd of women and, that you usually hang out with and you're naturally going to adopt different habits ladies your stupid fat friends are the problem yes that woman in that church video i'm sure her friends are fat also and if you ladies keep hanging around other fat women you're only going to get bigger like andre said so we're just simply trying to offer you ladies a solution but just like the women in the video she literally heard an opportunity to change something and she literally ran was about to run off stage right here some people some people didn't see, see this like women want to right here she has a question and he's like come here come here hey no 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 come here they always run away from the solution she said i have a problem right here find someone or meet someone, I ain't gonna say fine. Meet their wives are already there, usually. So what are we supposed to do? Well, we come do. Here. She asked a question. What are we supposed to do? And here comes the solution. Come here. Come here. Hey, no, 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 come here. And they walk away. So women don't want a solution to their problems. And this then you wonder why we it. men don't want y'all. I don't want to be with a woman that is literally going to turn around and walk away from my solution. You have a problem. Baby, this, baby, this, this is a problem. And I turn around and say, oh, okay, so let me fix your problem. And and, and then walk away. I, who the hell wants to deal with that? The, the other thing is women don't realize is just because you if you're a woman that's overweight and no offense 
just because you can get a guy to have sex with you, that doesn't mean that you're a keeper. Facts. I'll say that again. A lot of dudes are like the weekend. I only call you when it's half past five. Mm -hmm. Only time they're gonna call you is when they are when they're on the desperation mode and they're like, you know what? I might as well smash Aisha. She got a pretty face. Yeah. Let me go here. Ain't nobody gonna know I was late with her. Every dude been there. Come on, every guy in the comment section already know that we had that one big chick that she was cute in the face with dimples and we smashed her, but then nobody ever throughout our history will we'll take it to the grave. Nobody yeah. ever saw her with us in public. Ever. And some of you ladies think because you can get an attractive man to lay with you every blue moon that you're a keeper. Yes. That does not make you a keeper. That makes you just available and that makes you convenient. Just it's because convenient. you are my convenience does not make you my keeper. And right. a lot of you ladies have to realize that. And I know what we're saying says it sounds harsh. And I know I hear some of you ladies in the comment section going, well, what about men? Or oh, what about men? Well, well the subject matter today men? is not about men. But stick to the subject, if, lady. If, even if we can stick, change the subject to men, we're we're in the gym. I see nothing but men in gyms. So even if you wanted to say, what about men? Men are in the gym. Men are drinking water. Men are eating right. Men overall, black men are actually the most fit human beings on the face of the earth. Next to white women, white men, Hispanic men, uh, 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 Indian men, we're the most fit. We look better than virtually every other man on the planet. We have better muscle definition. We're 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 you you know sexually we're better. We're better physically than any other human being on the planet. So what about men? Yeah, yeah. And now we're we're not saying that every single man. So don't take it for with the narrative. Well, I know Big Keith down the street. We we all know a Big Keith down the street. Right. We all know that. But what he's saying is, in general, statistically, men, black men are physically attractive to many, if not just sisters, but to many cultures. That's another thing that women have a problem with. Mm -hmm. Black women hate the fact that black women are not the only women that black men wow. attract. Right. There are there are women of other cultures that I mean, many cultures around the world. And I've tried. We just I just got back from France, just got back from Belize, just got back from Madrid and mm -hmm. London. And they love brothers out there. Right. Just like they love brothers in Africa, just like they love brothers here in South America. We yeah. are attractive to women around the world. That's just what it is. I, you can't change it. So now back to the subject later, ladies, we're talking to you. We're talking about you 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 ladies are the subject matter so once again a make sure that you focus on your diet there is there is no way you got two black men on camera one has a bottle of water on in the one part of the world and on the other part of the world another black man has bottled water i actually have see another it. bottle of water next to the other bottle of water there you go and this is the funny part you when it was the last time you see women on the live stream showcase their bottle of water oh they'll have something in their little sippy cup have but we wine. never know what that is. Facts. Because they we alcoholics. Never know what that is. That's another thing. Black women, uh, a lot of black women are alcoholics. They have an alcohol yeah. problem. Yeah. And and so, oh, yeah. That wine. Oh, man. Wine sales over the last 20 years. Bro. Man, black women love wine. They love some damn wine. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And so at the end of the day, ladies, it, it, it is possible to stand out from the crowd once again. That lady in that video, that YouTube video with the church, it's very simple that in six months she could stand out from all the other ladies in that church and then she put her back on that. Right. If she does, does the work, yeah. put her back on that stand in six months of taking care of her body, drinking water, getting away from the herd, going mm -hmm. to the gym, becoming more fit, friendly and more feminine in her stance, not standing there like. Right. Uh -uh, no, no, no. Getting right. feminine in her stance. Put her back up there in six months and watch how many dudes try to get her phone number after that when she becomes the woman that she's supposed to be for a man. Here's the problem also, Mr. Let Go, that, that I say with men. Let's go back to men. The problem with women in the United States is because there are too many simps allowing 
or con or co-signing i won't say allow but co-signing the behavior of our sisters when it comes to your diet when mm -hmm. it comes to your behavior when it comes to your mouth when it comes to your your lack of spirituality meaning that just because you physically go to the church doesn't mean that you've been praying for men or your man but right. at the end of the day because there are so many men that co-sign this when we'll have sex with the big girl, the unhealthy girl, don't care as long as she's cute. We'll sit up there and get with the woman that we know that on average, I just looked this up the other day, the average black woman in the United States only makes $38,000 a year. He would condone it as if, go ahead, Queens, y'all bossing. No, you're not. You're not. The average black woman in the United States is only making thirty eight dollars to $42,000 a year. Yeah. Average. So That's this right. bragging about y'all boss queens, stop it. Because there are a lot of us that are, that we're, you're, these two men on this panel are readers. That's the worst thing that you want to have on, on uh, when it comes to debating a topic. Two mm -hmm. men that actually read instead actually of just read. usually emotional responses. Yeah. So women, listen to what we're saying, that there are too many men out there that are lying to you. That's what our point is. Stop listening to these men lying when you know you walk in that mirror naked and you know that you're not attractive and he walk up behind you and say, baby, you still sexy to me. That is a lie. If he's doing if he's doing it at yeah. three o'clock in the morning and don't know you, he's never taking you out in public, has he? Nope. He's never introduced you to his dog, has he? You never met his goldfish, has you? Have you? But in all honesty, yeah. though, this is what's crazy. We ain't taking the 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 good looking women out because they don't know how to act out in public. Nope. So the nope. good looking women, two things. One, she's either getting smashed by everybody and we have an idea. So we're not going to be stupid enough to have her on our arm or they don't have enough sense to operate. And because women, black women, sadly, don't know how to follow a man's lead, even just walking down the street. So it's almost embarrassing, and I'm going to read the Super Chats in a minute, y'all. It's almost embarrassing just being seen with some of our women. So, yeah. So let me read these Super Chats real quick. Um, just my fourth sense, they didn't, they don't finish uh, college, uh, just talk like they do. Uh, Jimmy James says, no more itchy, itchy uh, funky, smelly wigs or weaves. And Jimmy James says, uh, degrees can't protect you when it's uh, 3 a.m. and someone is breaking in your home. That's a fact. And there's nothing wrong with degrees, but you can't make having a degree a priority when you don't make your own body a priority. And that's the actual thing that's just weird to me. You know, you spend six years in college but you don't spend six days in a gym. You don't go to therapy. You don't take care of your own emotional health. And then you wonder why a man don't want you. We don't want y'all because we don't have, we have sense. We have common sense. And we see the things that y'all say. We see the things that y'all do. And we see the amount of weight that y'all hold walking around. And we see y'all habits. A man to go out with a woman, even if she is slightly overweight, right? And say, well, she's fine. She, you know, she's okay, right? And then at the same time, we'll pay attention to how many drinks she orders. We'll pay attention to what she orders, you know, the food. We'll pay attention to her conversation. We'll, we'll pay attention to her ability to articulate herself. We'll hear her uh, blaming men on the date with us. We'll hear her blaming uh, her baby daddy. We'll hear her having a baby daddy. Oh, well, why didn't you and your baby daddy work out? Oh, he was trash. He was a narcissist. Oh, so why did you have a baby with him? Well, you already know I was young and dumb, but your baby is one years old. How was you young and dumb like nine months ago? Like this woman here. Said how black men really hate black women. Next time you see me have a baby, I will be married to a white man. I promise y'all, he gonna be white. He gonna be European. He gonna be from, you know, Saudi Arabia. It's gonna be something exotic. 
And that woman is small. That woman is pretty. But she was with a pookie for years and didn't break up with him until he got her pregnant. He was literally on drugs. She said it herself. He was a drug addict throughout the duration of their relationship and still had a baby with him. And guess what? The reason why we know he was a drug addict is because something's wrong with the child's health. And they said this usually comes from when the parents use a shitload of drugs. So she knew the man was on drugs and now the child has a birth defect because of his drug use. So sometimes when a woman look good, they still be problematic. So not only does a new man inherit a woman with a one-year-old, she inherits a woman with a one-year-old with birth defects because of the man she chose. It's it in, in in this in the sad part about this, then she goes and use white worship, which a lot of divestors do. Yes, uh, ladies, I'm gonna tell you something. If you think that it's just brothers getting passports, you got the passport bro movement twisted. Right. My white brothers are out here just as much as we are because they're tired of the same behavior of all modern women when it comes to certain in the West. Not yeah. just the United States, also Canada, also parts of, 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 of Europe, also Australia. That, that whole behavior pattern of not being receptive yeah, and accepting. So don't think that y'all going to run to my white brothers and that they're going to sit back and say, well, well, we'll take you and all your kids and your three baby daddies too. Realize, ladies, you're not only stuck with another man for life because he's the child's father. Any man that marries you is stuck with that man for the rest of his life. Yeah, he's literally stuck. If, if, especially if this is a good a good dude that wants to take care of his child, and you are and you and him have a good co-parenting relationship. Now, I come along, the new dude. Take it from a dude that when I was in the states, I was married fourteen years. I'm real mm -hmm. cool with my with my uh with my ex. I was a stepdad right. for fourteen years. Met the okay. kids when they were four and 11 years old. Got okay. them through college, Bethune Cookman. Okay. Their That's dad cool. was the, I, I tried so hard to get this man to co father with me. Right. But he was so busy being in and out of his own personal demons and idiocy that I basically, and the mother basically raised the children ourselves. No problem. The kids turned out great, excellent. Uh, stepdaughter is actually married her high school sweetheart. She's only yeah. been with one man in her whole life. Stepson is economically stable, there's money up on money. So it turned out great. But if no matter what, I was still linked to another man that I didn't ask for. That's the part that a lot of women don't I, realize. Men do not want to be linked to. So other was men. he around? Was he around in trash or not around in trash? Periodically. Because he was going in and out okay. of jail. So when he was out of jail, he was around. Ooh. But when he was back yeah. in jail, it... so I'm like, wait yeah. a minute. You expect me to be the, the guy to be with you or you ladies expecting these men. And this is just one child's father. Just imagine mm -hmm. what the, the norm now where women have two or three children. Male. You want one man to link for life. Think all about it. Those... With all those men. Not yeah. just link with you. Not just link with the kids, but link with men. Men yeah. he never asked to meet. Men he didn't want to get to know. Men that you felt were problematic. And come mm -hmm. to find out that they were problematic. But you yeah. ask a man to marry you and link with three or even one problematic person. Now, yeah. like I said, my situation is different. Me and the step and, and my ex are cool, great. She's moved on with their life. This was years ago. I'm remarried because I love relationships and stability and marriage. And I've been happily married. My fourth year anniversary here in Colombia is next Tuesday. Congratulations. Before that, congratulations. So, And we don't have any kids. I don't have any of my own kids. My wife doesn't have any children. We're going to be working on children in 2025. We're buying properties in 2024. Mm -hmm. What's my point in saying that is that not everybody 
has to have a bad situation with the with the uh with the stepdads. There's some yeah. great stepdads. But, uh, I mean, I mean biological dads. Right. But men, even if the men, the biological dads are good men, we still didn't ask to be linked to another man. And you well, women who have kids don't think about that. Go ahead, brother. Well, we do make a decision to be linked to we the do. other man That's true. To, when, when we get with the other woman. You know what I'm saying? So I, I do got to say that because, you know, everything we do is a choice. But all That's together, um, sometimes we don't know how terrible the man actually is until we get with the woman. Because you don't jump in on a first date like, how bad is your baby daddy? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I, I can understand that. Because I've been uh, with women who have kids. Because I mainly date women who have kids. Because I don't want no more kids, you know? Right. So, uh, me getting in a deep relationship with a woman who doesn't have kids, I know how women like to change their mind, right? So, she can get with me because she likes me and say, oh, I don't want no kids either. And they say, you know, three years down the road, she resents me because uh, I'm the one that took her away from motherhood. Right. And now That's it's my good. fault good because even though she made the choice. So I uh, I have no problem dating a woman who don't have no kids, but getting in a long-term relationship with a woman who doesn't have kids, to a certain degree, she's going to want kids because women love to change their mind. So I would have no problem dating a woman who has kids or a kid or something like that. You know, and I love kids, but there are men out here. And that's another thing that women do that literally uh, ruin their uh, opportunities of getting, you know, with a good man is by having all these kids by random dudes. So it's like there's so many different things that women do to self-sabotage their own dating prospects. And then they turn around and get mad at us for not wanting them. That's y'all dumbasses for doing all this dumbass shit. And I want to, I want to, I'm playing a video real quick that I, I, it took me a minute to find. Mm -hmm. And I, I want y'all to listen to this. Are you kidding me? Where is the video? Why didn't it get, actually, hold on. I know what to do. But um, at the end of the day, um, we only are going to, you know, we, we have standards. Yes. Make. All right, hold on. Uh, I, I, while while you're ahead. doing that, I often make the statement of what's the difference between a river and a flood? A river has standards. A flood doesn't. A river mm. has boundaries. The water flows just as fast. Yeah. The water of life flows just as fast for a man. Wow. But a river has boundaries. It has standards. Yeah. A flood does it and it destroys everything with the same velocity that the river has. But the river controls oh. it with standards. Guys wonder why I came to Columbia and my wife is 29. She's an accountant, no children, very spiritual. Uh, we we travel the world together. She is very always we're, we're gym partners. Mm. How did you get this good woman, Andre? Because I have standards. And if, if a person, a woman can't go past my standards. Mm -hmm. The flowing of life will take place, but my standards stay up. If I had dropped my standards just because my wife is beautiful, yeah. but but she has a drug habit or because she wants nothing but money, 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 money. Now yeah. I'm letting my life be flooded by a type of woman that shouldn't be in my life. And she'll destroy you. And she'll right. destroy me just like right. a flood would. But as long as a man has standards to control the flow of what comes in and out of his life. The type of women that you're looking for, no matter what country, no matter what culture, will gravitate to you because women that like to be floods will not come your way. But women that like to be rivers will come into your life. Facts. Facts. So let me play this video. Yo, I, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to use that at some point and I'm going to give you credit. <laughs> that was dope. Anytime, brother. Anytime. You know, it is wild out here. It is wild being a woman because listen, I am one million percent for women's rights. I think about it actually all the time. I have two daughters. Um, but what I also think about a lot of the times is that like, I don't want to do it anyway. <laughs> you know, like I'm glad that we now can drive cars, but I don't want to drive. I don't want to drive, but I don't want you telling me I can't do it. I also don't want you to do something because I'm a woman thinking that I can't do it myself. Um, but then I think it's, you should do it for me.
Like when I'm unloading something from the car that's heavy and, and, and a man sees me unloading it, like I, I, I don't want him to assume that I can't do it on my own. But if he doesn't help me, <laughs> that was rude. That was really rude because I don't want to do it by myself. And it was heavy. You know, th there's a problem. There's a problem. This is a problem. I'm admitting that. And the first step is admitting that you have a problem. Also, like, do not think for me. I can think on my own. But, but please don't ask because I don't want to use my brain. I don't want to use it. I don't want to use it. But I want to have the ability to. That's how nutty women are. They, they, they want a man to help them, but they don't want you to feel like they can't help themselves. And you just like, what? What? And somebody yeah. says, Mike says, sounds like a psycho. Sounds like a That's cycle. a typical woman. <sighs> and you just be like, yo, what? Because the, the, the woman in this video says it. It doesn't work. They go to the stupider sex. So right here, the woman literally says this. Think, think about what the woman in the video said. And listen to what she says. Of men, in your opinion. Just 40,000. That's how can King from the age of 29 to 39 Hello. providing for a family? Right. We are at a scarcity of that in our community. You have to be able to provide, <laughs> you have to be able to lead. If the black man is making from the age of 29 to 39, between 25 to 40,000, that's how can he sustain a family? What? So, so right here. She talks about finances and she tries to say that men don't make enough money, right? The percentage of men, in your opinion, just around that you see men in general, would you say are marriageable men? It's not about salary. I think people need to match on their level. I'm asking about salary. I don't care. About good You're the one men. that brought up salary, Ali. The hell I are you brought talking it up about? for reasons because if you're 39 making 40,000, and, a, and the educated black woman is making six figures. Stop getting all these degrees. Please, for heaven's sakes, if black women are the most educated. How is that going to work? That means she's the provider. That means she's the provider. Making six figures. If black women are the least paid and the most educated, that math ain't mathing. That one plus one ain't equal, is not equal to two. It's equal to zero. Why? Are y'all getting all these degrees? Y'all don't make I said, sense. Figures. I said, if you can't give me an answer on how many men are bad, aren't good enough, then that means you don't know. I don't. But I, I, I then she says I don't. Why are you arguing about something that you don't know about? This is this is what I'm saying. So this is another example of that, and 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 this little nuts woman that was sitting in the car. They don't know what the hell they be talking about. They just babble. Less than less than nine percent of black people make over a hundred thousand dollars a year. But here's another stat that's gonna blow you away. I just read the article two days ago. That did you know that the over one third of all people that make a hundred thousand dollars a year in the United States are living paycheck to paycheck? I'm sorry, half of all are living paycheck to pay paycheck one third of those that make two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year are living paycheck to paycheck mm -hmm. in the united states so when women sit back and have these lofty expectations statistically that statement does not compute if only nine percent of people of color are even making that amount of money statistically is like a unicorn yeah. and then if they if they make that hundred thousand 50% are living paycheck to paycheck because they have all these college loans and credit card debts. So to say, and then if the man gets to the point, if he hopefully, or if she hopefully gets to 250, 40% of you are still living paycheck to paycheck because now you got this huge mortgage and the car notes and the college loans and the credit card loans. Do People, American people, could you do us a favor? Read. Every, yes. All these stats and information that Mr. Let Go often gives are just public knowledge, public information that's out there. You can read up on everything that I just said because I read these articles 
I read them and I read I kept up on them when they first started in January, keeping these stats. And I just read the latest articles on these statistics just a couple of days ago. And even CNN did a, a headline on people that make a hundred thousand dollars and 50 percent of y'all are living paycheck to paycheck. So let's stop this braggadocia when it comes to the economics are average black man making 40 plus thousand dollars a year, maybe about almost 52,000. The average black woman is only making 38,000. So when y'all sit back and say, I can't be with a man with the, the if you can't be with a man with 38,000, you only make it 38,000 and you make it maybe 48 to 52,000. You definitely ain't gonna be with none of these dudes that that make a hundred thousand because fifty percent of those are living paycheck to paycheck just like you and everybody else that's making thirty eight or fifty eight. Or she's gonna be so intolerable where he's just gonna get rid of her. Oh, that brother! I'm glad that you mentioned that because do you know how many gorgeous, gorgeous. successful women I have thrown to the curves? Mm -hmm. My my, my 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 line to break up with a woman used to be, uh you're like sour milk and this this is like sour milk and you've expired your time in my life has expired and i remember one sister responded like well my time your time in my life has expired i say no sister you can't use my line on me very attractive <laughs> everybody wanted her very successful in her endeavors Miss degrees and everything but that attitude was so bad i was like even after the good sex even though you are so beautiful even though you are successful even though you have your own home and your own money i cannot stomach you and there are right. so many women that i could that are so attractive that fall up under the economic uh, uh category of what women consider miss boss yeah. A lot of us brothers cannot stomach your attitude and your behavior. Well, we expect men will have standards. That's what I was. And you still cause men to not of standards to not even want to be with you. Facts. Facts. And ladies, I know y'all are like, oh, oh, my God, men talk about women. Well, we date women. We care about women. I potentially, uh, I, well, I uh, personally, I meant uh, coach women. And um, I hear women complaining about men instead of complaining about their own uh, goofy ass selves literally every day. And it just sometimes it gets annoying and we get to the point where we just like, OK, I got to talk about this, you know. So if you have all these women on TikTok or in person complaining about how they can't find no man. And half of them be fat. You just like, yo. It's because you're fat. But guess what, Andre? I can't tell a woman in her face because you're fat. You know, because depending on the setting, like, I don't, I don't want to, you know, make her feel even worse. So I would rather say y'all are fat versus you are fat saying something to, the, to one woman, you know? Because if I'm talking to a specific person, is... Um, I have to give her a safe place to land. So if I'm talking to a woman and just I'm out somewhere and she's like, Mr. Let go. Why can't I find a man? And I say, well, because you fat. I have a responsibility to stay with her for at least about 45 more minutes to to give her a soft place to land after mm -hmm. just saying something that blunt to her. Because if I say that because you fat and I just walk away now, she's just like. Oh my God, I'm a terrible person. Da, 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 da. She's not right. going to know how to uh, break that uh, information down. Just like how your body breaks down a food. It breaks it down. Right. Women don't have the capacity to break words down like your body breaks down food. So now you have this one word in your brain, just like a whole brownie is just sitting in your belly and it doesn't break down. Now you got a stomach ache because your body isn't breaking down the brownie or the chicken. Women have have trouble breaking down words like you're fat. That's the why. They're just going to sit there fuming over the word you're fat for like a month and it's going to affect their. So I feel the need to stay with a particular woman if I say you're fat in your face. But I'll say y'all are fat. Because I'm not talking to a specific woman. So content 
helps women to say, well, I don't know what he's talking about. He might be talking about them. And at some point, I'll give them a metric. Cause like last last week, I literally said, if you're a woman and you wonder why a man don't want you, go in the bathroom and, and see if you can see your navel in, in, in the mirror. And if you can't see your navel in the mirror, go to the gym until you can see your navel in the mirror. And I give them a metric. And then I'll say, if you spend more time at the hairdresser versus the gym, that's another metric that you can use that will give you an understanding of what the problem is instead of saying you're fat. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Because I look at it like this. I, and I'm glad that you that you worded it like that with a with a metaphoric uh, story. Yeah. Uh, because a lot of times women will say, well, all right, we got two brothers on YouTube complaining about men. Right. There's a difference between complaining and correcting. Correcting. I complain if I don't care about you. Mm -hmm. I correct you because I love you. Yeah. If I complain about you, believe you me, we don't care nothing about you if we are complaining. Yeah. But if we are correcting is because we care. So when you see these two men, realize we're bringing correction, we're bringing stats, we're bringing suggestions. So things that we're suggesting that you do, men that complain don't come with suggestions. They don't come with right. encouragement to let you know that, like we well, like we gave an encouraging word about the sister in the video. We could have said, well, she was fat. That's why she, no, we sat back and said, the encouragement is if the sister does what she needs to do for at least six months, get mm -hmm. her back on stage. And mm -hmm. now let's see how the brothers treat her. That's encouraging yep. words, not complaining. Not That's why I always let women know, I could care less about complaining about you ladies because complainers don't care about you. I am here to give you constructive correction to mm -hmm. let you know that there is opportunity out there for change and you can receive the man that you're looking for. And here's the last part that I want to want to mention in regards to that. Women statistically, you is way more of you than us. That's just stats. <clears throat> Your yep. competition is deep. And a lot of women in the States don't realize the competition is deep. You want to learn something about women in South America, whether it be black, whether they be a lat, whatever of the descendants they are. These women know I got to stay in the gym because the competition is deep. Yes. There's 20 right. men. I mean, there's 20 women or 25 women for every man. What can I do to stand out from all these other gorgeous women in South America? So if I got to get a man a cup of water or a cup of coffee, so be it. That'll make me stand out. If I got to wear a feminine outfit, not necessarily seductive, but a feminine outfit, so be it to make me stand out from the competition. Women in the States, y'all think you do not have any competition because you think because you gave birth to us that you mm -hmm. own us. So you don't have to compete for us. You will complain. Right. Statistics only show statistics already show that black men want 87 percent want to still marry black women, white women, yeah. white men still want to marry white women. But yeah. at the end of the day, when you sit back, you're too busy looking at the nine percent of black men that want to be with white women or the three percent of us that are married to Latin women. You amplify it, make it seem like it's 33 and make it seem like when it comes to black men and white women is 39. Mm -hmm. No, black men are still trying to be with the sisters. But for you to treat us like we're property, we're all we're supposed to automatically be with you, no matter how you treat your diet, no matter how you treat your your behavior patterns, no matter if you don't smile, no matter if you aren't feminine. No, sister, you don't own us. We're not things. We don't own you because of your color and you don't own us because of our color. And you gave birth to us. Thank you for the birthing but you still don't own us. And that's why you think that you don't have to compete in the, in the United States for black men attention and being the type of woman that will stand out from the crowd. But think about this when it comes to the competition though, you ladies watching right now, you are in a position where you can easily compete because your competition most women are fat most black women four out of every five women are fat you're never going to see six attractive women with each other it might be three or four of them it's just not how, it's because it's, the thing about it is 
um, if you see six attractive women, they had to go through a lot in order to stay together or be around each other, right? Because most women are fat, right? So the thing about it is, if four out of every five black women are grossly overweight, obese, or you could just say fat, you can compete with that. All you got to do is be the uh, be one of the women that aren't fat. You can compete. If you go to the gym, just like Andre said, and, and, and just work on your body, you'll be competitive because most black women are fat. If And this, this, here's another statistic. Do y'all know that only 25% of all women in America go to therapy? So all you as a black woman have to do to be competitive is go to therapy. It's really that simple. So all you have to do is not be fat by going to the gym and working out and go to therapy and you'll literally be in the top 5% of women in America. See, we are giving y'all metrics. We are See, it's not just love yourself. We're giving y'all specific things and specific metrics metrics to see yourself in the mirror and say, damn, if I want a man or if I want a better life, all I have to do is do this. Because the thing about it is, lady, ladies, y'all have spent six years in damn uh, in, in college, but you won't spend six months in the gym. In the gym. I, I just don't understand it. But then they then they they expect us to do the gym, be masculine, be providers, all mm -hmm. the things that we know that hey, nothing wrong with that. Ladies, you want a masculine man? We have no problem with that. You want a man that's fit and he takes care of his health? We have no problem with that. We're not talking about the pookies and the ray rays. We're talking about real men. Understand what you ladies are looking for. Most of the lists that you ladies are looking for, most of our men, most of us good men, we agree with. A man that has a spiritual side, a man that cares about his family, a man yeah. that cares about the future of the direction of the family. Most of you ladies that we see on, on social media that have something to say about what you're looking for in a man, most of us good men agree with that list. Most of you aren't, aren't really being outlandish except for when it comes to some of the economic expectations, like you want him to take you to a $500 date on the first time or, on, or you yeah. want him to cash after you a bunch of money, that rhetoric. But most of you guys, what you're expecting from a man, we agree with. So mm -hmm. what's the problem with you agreeing with what men are saying with this in the simple list, what we have like four or five, not, not want to say four or five, maybe eight things, fit, feminine, friendly, it's real simple to do cooperative yeah. submissive yeah. supportive our list is very simple know how what to articulate so your labor? words your know how That's to behavior correct behavior issues so it's not just weight issues ladies it's behavior issues i always say women don't listen they interpret if you know how to interpret my words as help or as advice instead of you hate women you 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 above the typical black woman and you if you're able to just be on this live and and comment without saying something stupid and you're just like you know what I agree with him and, and let me listen more if you've been watching this live from the beginning you're actually in the top 5% of thinking women because you know it's physical and uh emotional and just right. thinking if you're able to listen to what we're saying and what i was saying earlier you're in the top 10 percent of women when it comes to how the typical woman thinks because like i said it's small women who about as, as dumb as a doorknob also like like i keep showing her how black men really hate black women Next time you see me have a baby, I will be married to a white man. So it's not just about being fat, because she ain't fat. And she about stupid as I don't know what. Absolutely but we're giving y'all an understanding. And we're giving y'all metrics. We y'all we get I'm not showing y'all only fat women. 
I'm showing y'all small women, pretty women, attractive women that are still just stupid as I don't know what. The women in this video right here. You look at the word and you say there are enough. Look at the women. They're attractive. But some of them ain't got no damn sense. So it's not just fat this, fat that, fat, 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 fat. No. The attractive women ain't got no damn sense either. Some of y'all sound like her. And drive cars. But I don't want to drive. I don't want to drive, but I don't want you telling me I can't do it. I also don't want you to do something because I'm a woman thinking that I can't do it myself. Um, but then I think it's, you should do it for me. Like when I'm unloading something from the car that's heavy and, and, and a man sees me unloading it, like I, I, cause I don't want to do it by myself. And it was heavy. You know, th there's a problem. There's a problem. This is a problem. I'm admitting that. And the first step is admitting that you have a problem. Also. And she's not fat y'all. And she's not black either. Like do not think for me i can think on my own but but please don't ask because i don't want to use my brain but please don't ask because i don't want to do it don't want to use my brain this is what i'm talking about so it's not just fat it's not just black it's women it, it, you know it's it's just like and, and the thing about it is we want to be with y'all but y'all get to the point where y'all become so intolerable like, this is an example of how intolerable y'all are. There's no such thing as an emotionally stable woman. It's physically impossible. I started mapping out women's hormones and realized that women are cyclic monthly, but their estrogens and other hormones change four times a month. So I realized, wait, our women change four times in the month. And let me give you a, a simple analogy on this. Women, there's sometimes you get up in the morning, you put your bra on, it's all nice and full. Next following week, you put your bra on, it's a bunch of shriveled raisins. It's like, where'd they go? <laughs> you get my point? I and hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. It's like, see, it, no, no, but see what's saying? That's yes. And the women go, oh my goodness, you're right. See, because your body changes every week differently. Now imagine this though, but here's one thing. And I was literally talking to a woman over in Europe today. And all of a sudden I said this, I said, listen, but now estrogens change four times a month. So guess what happens? Ladies, that means mentally you change four times in the month. And she goes, oh my goodness. She goes, there's, I'm a CEO of this company, but there's some days of the month that I shouldn't make any decisions. That's right. Yeah. Because four times in the month, there's you are dramatically different and that's okay. So, so men are gonna deal with things and look at the world very differently than women because women's changes. What it did for women, start to realize that as they go up and down, their emotions are not supposed to be stable. So I- So the point you ladies can get from that is understand that y'all are extremely hard to deal with just, just by proxy, right? And because of that, it would behoove you to focus on the things that you can actually fix. Like some men aren't 6'5", six 6'6", six six or 6' six whatever, right? They can't fix that, but they'll work on the things that they can actually work on, right? So we work on our money. If we're not super tall, we work on our attitude. We work on our fitness. That's all we're asking y'all to do. Because like I said, even if you're small, you're still going to be batshit crazy. But you'll actually be a little bit more tolerable if you're not fat. And I don't know what else to say to y'all. Small women are a problem too. But they asses don't want to get therapy. But if you go to therapy and you go to the gym and make these two things your priority... You'll have a better life with a man. Because like I said, yeah, some yeah. of y'all are small, still batshit crazy. Because y'all ass ain't went to the gym. So the fat chicks ain't going to the gym or therapy. And the small chicks ain't going to therapy. It is what My it is. wife went to Go therapy ahead. for six months. Mm -hmm. Six months after that, she met me. Mm. Because she was a totally different person. And therefore, the universe gave her a totally different man in her life than the man that she was with or the man that she was with prior to. Yeah, that's real. Steps need to be taken. That's real. The doors of the universe will open up once you become the new woman that you're supposed to be. And sometimes the, the tool of therapy or the catalyst or the road of therapy is where you need to walk down in order to get to that good man. Some of y'all want a good man, but he's on the other side of therapy. 
He's waiting right there. He hasn't gone anywhere. He's not on drugs. He's not a pookie. He doesn't have a bunch of kids. He makes good money. He's a cooperative man, but he's on the other side of therapy. And as long mm. as you decide that you don't want therapy, don't worry about it. You'll never meet him. You continue yeah. to meet the pookies. You continue to meet the guys that want to only meet you at half past five. You continue to be with those guys. You continue to be somebody's cuddle buddy. And you continue to be in your herd of big girls that will make you feel good with a, with your bottles of wine and your cake and ice cream. And you can ride that out to all your days and be one of those, uh, be like the herds of women that are leaving and going directly into a nursing home. Or you can go be a woman that stands out. How do you do that? Start gym membership. Secondly, do like my wife did, get into therapy. Find mm -hmm. out what's going on so you don't make that mistake. And guess who was waiting on the other end of her therapy? Me. And other good men are waiting for you ladies on the other end of therapy. Yeah. yeah. So Cookie says, we're just going to go to the gym and lose a whole bunch of weight and look good and use y'all, right? And use men like you, right? It's nothing wrong with that. If that would make you go to the gym if that will make you get your fat ass in the gym, go do that and, and, and go lose the weight and go use us for our money or whatever. Go do that. Because guess what? It's not about us. It's about you. If you hear what I say and you turn around and change it into, oh, I want to use these men. At least you went to the gym. At least you lost some weight. You're halfway there. So, ladies. Whatever it is that you need to set the tell to yourself, you know what? I'm going to lose some weight and I'm going to treat these men like crap. Cool. Just go lose the weight. Because at the end of the day, just do do something. I don't care what your motivation is. If it's in a man hating motivation and you want to go in there and be like, I hate men. I hate men. I, 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 and you and pulling and pushing on stuff and, and your motivation is hate for men. Go for it. Hate us. Just go do something. Whatever the motivation is, go use us and go get fine and use us. Because at some point, you're going to get tired of using us because at the end of the day, if you give up the ass to us, we're actually using you. So you're going to wake up and realize like, damn, I'm a dumbass. I'm sitting around trying to use men, but they're using me. But guess what? You fine now. So now all you got to do is go do the other thing, which is go to therapy and deal with your hate for men. And now you made it. So hate us, whatever you need to do, whatever you need whatever to say. Whatever your motivation is, babe, whatever the motivation use is. it. Yes. Go, go to the gym, lose a use bunch it. of weight. Don't lose it. I don't care use why. It. Right. I don't care why you want to do it. Go to the gym and lose a bunch of weight. Go use us, whatever. Take advantage of us. Just because go. by the time she loses that weight, that mindset will change. She's yes. saying that on the other side of the gym. Once yes. she gets on the other side of six months into the gym, she's got new friends from the gym. She's got new behavior pattern. All of a yep. sudden, her chemical balance, her mental balance has changed because she's drinking a lot more water. All yep. of that will change. And all of a sudden, that using a man, that will change. But while you're on the other side of, of not going to the gym, of course you think, well, I'm going to lose this way and I'm going to use men. Like he's saying, go ahead, prove us. You you made one hove, build another hove. Facts. You see what I'm saying? Like Jay-Z <laughs> told Dame Dash when they broke up Rockefeller. Oh, you mm. made me? You made me, Jay-Z? If you made one hove, build another hove. If you exactly. think that you can go to the gym, become – and gym is all about mental positivity. Now you got fresh oxygen going into your in your body and your lungs on a regular basis. Your bloodstream is completely different. Your, your, your food intake because you're on a different diet is going to change. And you think that you're going to go and get sexy to, just to use men? No, you're going to become a completely different woman, mm -hmm. just like the, the butterfly. You're going to become a monarch butterfly from the caterpillar that you, that you are right now. And I'm going to say so, this. Go ahead. Oh, go, go. Go ahead. You you want to finish? No, 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 no. I was done, brother. Okay. So I I, I want to say this for 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 the um the whole year I've been one of the the few men that have been getting on women about their weight. One of the few men have been getting on women about their wigs, right? Um, in the next year or so, probably mid two thousand twenty four, there's going to be a different trend, and black women are going to be so sick of me saying, "Get your fat ass in the gym." 
where y'all fat asses will actually start going to the gym and it would actually work. Right. And y'all will actually start being motivated in any type of way, whether it's out of anger towards me or what. And your fat ass will actually start going to the gym and you will lose weight. And then by 2025, I'm still going to be doing my thing. I'm still going to be selling my deeper discussions car game. I'm still going to be doing my thing. Right. And you are going to go in my chat or DM me and say, thank you for uh, saying the same thing over and over and over and over again, because it finally got through to me and I got my fat ass in the gym and I lost a bunch of weight and I and I went and got therapy and I'm so much of a better woman. And because of that, she went out and got a dude like Andre and he's treating her right. And by 2025, your life is better. All because you heard me say, get your fat ass in the gym for the 30th time and finally did it. Absolutely. And for all you ladies, just a word of encouragement when it comes to your exercise and your therapy, there's going to be a window of time that is lonely. Yes. You are, and I know a lot of you women are already lonely because a lot of you don't have that companion next to you on a regular basis. So you're already going through an area of loneliness as it is. So that's why you keep the herd around you because you can call a herd and you all can corral together and keep each other from feeling lonely. That's why you have the girl trips. And it's always you women that are a little overweight doing the girl trips together. It's never a blend of healthy women and big women. No, it's either all healthy women or it's either all big women on the girl trips. Yep. And so you ladies keep each other from being lonely in your singleness. I got you. I'm with you. Yeah. There's going to be a window of time as you're working out and getting therapy. You're going to fall away from the herd. But you haven't met new friends yet. Mm -hmm. So that small, maybe one month, I'm, I'm letting you ladies know what's going to happen. That small month or two between when God introduces you to new friends and you're letting go some of the behavior of some of your old friends, you're going to feel alone. I'm the only one in my group getting therapy. I'm the only one in my group eating healthy. I'm the only one in my group. Man, my group is gone. And so now you're by yourself. Mm -hmm. And now it's time for you to, the universe is going to introduce you to a new group of women that think like you, that get therapy like you, that are married and going to be introducing you to their single male friends. Yep. That whole, all of this is waiting for you on the other side of that loneliness. So I'm letting you ladies know that even men who want to be something in life, Mr. Let Go can tell you that when he decided at one point in his life that I'm not going to be like the people who I grew up around, I'm going to be like the people who I want to be like, there was a window that men go through that's lonely. Only. We call it being in our laboratory or in our back cave to where we're developing the new man that we're going to become. Mm -hmm. we let, we're slowly letting go of the, our old partners. And yeah. We're still cool with them, but we don't hang with them like we used to. And then all of a sudden, the universe started giving some of us men some positive guys that we're hanging around. Some mm -hmm. of these six, seven figure guys that teach us about different investments and different things that we can do. And all of a sudden, we're like, if my if one of my closest friends is six, seven figures or high six figures, all of a sudden by osmosis, you become as a man, seven figures or low six figures just from yeah. being around this new group of men. But we went through an era of loneliness. Yes. Where you're developing your cards, your relationship cards. He mm -hmm. didn't do this in a group of his old partners. He right. did this and it had to be around dudes that write books, dudes mm -hmm. that create courses, dudes that create. Uh, being a YouTuber, I'm telling you, you spend a lot of time by yourself, by yourself. Or communicating with other YouTubers. There's a time of being by yourself, ladies. But once you get over that, I promise you, a whole new group of girlfriends, a whole new group of women that are already married that will introduce you to, to their single male friends that are attracted to women that take care of them, their, their, their mental health as well as their physical health are waiting for you on the other side of that loneliness. But a lot of you women won't do it because you're with your herd of big girls. And they keep you comfortable and keep you from feeling any type of true loneliness until you lay down at night and the other side of your bed is cold. And let me tell y'all something about loneliness. Um, that is the first side effect of women that join my coaching group. Because one, black women hate black men. 
So to hear a black woman uh, getting coaching from a black man, that's going to make her have a problem. That's going to make her become lonely because of the other one, like, what? Why? Why are you da, da, da? Right? That's the first thing. The second thing is once she changes her habits, she's going to say no to a lot of things and she's going to set boundaries with a lot of people. And then next thing you know, her family and friends are going to start looking at her like, why are you acting so funny? Why are you acting different? Well, I'm healing. I'm changing. Right. And I let her know, like the ladies in a coaching group can be her new group. Right. But it's a lot because sometimes in order to make a change, you have to trade one thing for another thing. So I help women trade their old friends with the ladies in the coaching group and become friends with them. So it's more of a trade off instead of a deficit. Right. But yes, it's still lonely because at the end of the day, you don't women don't like to lose an argument. Women don't like to lose money. Women don't like to lose their virginity. They don't like to lose anything. So just the thought of losing something scares the hell out of them. And something about me, like you said, uh, when I started becoming Mr. Let Go, I stayed away from relationships like just I dated, but I stayed away from real relationships in order to become who I am today. I literally was driving for Uber because I left my job and I was I, I wasn't 100 percent on or, or keen to what I want to be but I needed to figure myself out, right? So I left my job, wrote a book, and I started driving for Uber. And I literally drove for Uber and it gave me an opportunity to talk to different people over and over again. Because at work, you only talk to the same five, six people every day. Then when you go home, you talk to your little stupid friends, right? I wanted to be in an environment where I can talk to different people. And it actually worked. And it gave me an opportunity to move around. But guess what? Who wants to date or be in a relationship with a dude that drives for Uber? So I use that feeling of embarrassment of driving for Uber to keep me alone on purpose. And I started building my business up, social media up, how to make money off of social media, how to make this, how to do that. And I started making new friends. And then my loneliness went away when I started making new friends. And then I started making great money on social media. And boom, everything came out in fruition. And I haven't had a job. I don't even wake up with an alarm clock. I haven't had a job in like six, seven years. And I'm where I want to be. But it took a minute for me to get there. So a lot of you ladies, you have to spend, I'm not, you said a month, it's going to take at least a year for you to get therapy and for it to actually, you know, seep in and start working. It's going to take you about a year to actually lose 20, 30, 40 pounds. You can lose five, 10 pounds, but when you lose five, 10 pounds, you're going to gain five, 10 pounds back because you got to change the habits that cause you to oh, gain the 10 pounds. You don't just lose 10 pounds and never gain it back. You gain mm -hmm. it back and you have to learn how to not gain it back. So it's not just the working out. It's the changing of your eating habits, knowing your blood sugar level, knowing like, I'm going to tell y'all something. I have not eaten today. It is 454. I have not eaten today because I'm so used to changing my habits where you know, I, Mind you, I woke up at like 11 o'clock because I don't wake up with a, an alarm clock, right? So I wake up super late, right? So I wake up late and I never eat immediately. I wait at least two hours after I've woken up to eat. But the second thing that is crazy is I don't eat unless I've earned the food, which is content or I go to the gym. And since I woke up so late, and I started putting together this, 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 this show. I literally was like, all right, I got to figure it. Because you got you to put together a show. You got to take notes for a show. You got to put together all these different videos for the show. Next thing you know, by 2 o'clock, I ain't eat. I haven't eaten yet. And now it's 5 o'clock. 
and I'm still on the show being here for y'all, but I haven't eaten a morsel of food. And guess what? This is a beautiful thing because it's called intermittent fasting, y'all. Can you spend five, six, seven hours of your day without even eating a morsel of food since you've woken up? A lot of you ladies, you can't do that. And guess what? I'm still not going to eat when I get off this live because I still ain't been to the gym. So I got to leave here and go to the gym before I even eat a morsel of food. I only drink water. But do you realize how healthy that is? So I live the life that I preach. Andre lives the life that he preaches. You literally preached my day. I woke, it's kind of funny, we're on two different continents. I woke up at 11 o'clock today. I had a <laughs> two hour consultation with the guy that was coming to the country. So yeah. I did the consultation. I, after the consultation, I was I was walking on my way to the gym. And then you said, hey Dre, if you're not doing anything, come up. So I turn around and I come on, I come back on the live, you know, I take a shower real quick, get yeah. dressed, come on your live stream for this time period. So after this, I'll be heading to the gym. Right. So we're talking about two black men, two totally different continents who aren't around each other on a regular basis, but still have enough sense to take care of our health to the point that if we didn't eat that day, we're still feeling healthy, feeling good. We're not feeling like, oh my God, I'm about to pass out if I don't eat. We yeah. feel this way because we've taken the proper steps. I just turned 56 uh, in October. My wow. wife is 29. If I know I got a 29 year old wife and I'm 56, I better be drinking water. Bad. I better be in somebody's gym. I better Bad. be. I'm talking about having kids. I better be taking care of my mental health. I better be sitting back and doing all the things that it takes to be. Here we go. Better than the average guy that's 56 years old. Now I look at other men that are 56, their faces are dragging and they got three or four chins and all of this is completely white and they look horrible. Facts. They look horrible. But since I like Mr. Let Go, I decided at 22, 23 to start focusing on my health. Why? Because I knew someday if with good health, I would be 56 years old. Mm. Some of you ladies are are. I'm, I'm going to say this, ladies, it is your responsibility to take care of the future you with the current you. Yes. Future you can have a wonderful life or a horrible life if current you is not on her job. Yes. Some of you ladies are 41. You could be the best 44 year old there was, or you could be the worst 44 year old there was. It depends on how 41 acts. It's your job to take care of 41 year old you so 44 year old you can live her best life yeah i did that at 22 so 56 year old andre can live his best life but if i hadn't and i'd be walking around like all these other dudes at 56 years old and i'm sitting up there eating popeye's chicken and everything else and i'm looking why would a woman at 29 years old want to be with me just on the physical side Right. Just on the physical side. So right. I made sure, I not only made sure, I still make sure that me and my wife take photos together. If we're in Paris, we look compatible mm -hmm. because I don't look my age. My wife is extremely mature for her age. So we kind of like fall right in the middle with each other. Yeah. My point in saying that is, is my responsibility to take care of now I'm 56 my job right now is to make sure 73-year-old Andre is able to live his best life. So 56-year-old mm -hmm. Andre has responsibilities of going to the gym after this live stream. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. And here's what's crazy. I will not be weak when I go to the gym. It ain't like because some people feel weak if they haven't eaten, right? My body is used to only eating two times, two times a day. And I'll eat grapes uh, for a snack. I don't even eat uh, sandwiches. I eat grapes for a snack, right? So I snack on stuff. I got, I like sugar just like everybody else, but I use natural sugar when I need my sugar rush. So the thing about it is 
when you change your life, sometimes you may think like, oh my God, I'm going to feel weak. I'm going to feel this. So it's the, the most important thing for a human to do is to deprive their flesh of their coping mechanisms. As you, as a woman, it's important for you to de deprive your flesh from complaining, uh, you know, talking shit about men, uh, eating sugar, uh, drinking wine all the time, and focus on going to the gym. What are you willing to deprive your flesh of? Like I said, I deprived myself of a relationship uh, for like three years. I dated, you know, but I made it a point that any woman that I dated that mm -hmm. I'm not ready for a relationship because I'm trying to build this business and I'm going to take from you if you get too close for me because I don't have any energy to give to you. So if we're going to go out on a couple of dates, you're going to come over. Cool. But that's all it's going to be. I stayed honest with women. I don't care how much they like me. I'm I, I'm driving. I used to drive for Uber till I fell asleep. Uber actually kicked me off and it was only Lyft because I got caught falling asleep at a traffic light too many times. And the person about like, hey, uh, uh, huh? Oh, none. And they reported me. So I can only drive for Lyft. And at some point I was like, all right, I got to make something shake because I just lost a certain amount of my income. Right. Because for Uber and Lyft, you can only drive for a certain amount of hours. So I would drive for a certain amount of hours for Uber. And then stop driving for, for Uber and drive for Lyft. But then I got kicked off of Uber because I was working so much. Y'all got to understand, when you want something, you got to go all the way for it. I actually made $100,000 in a year driving for them uh, one of the years because I drove so much. But guess what? When you're driving all the time, you ain't going to the club because the best time to drive is doing club hours. So I was driving for Uber instead of being in a club with my friends. I deprived myself of the coping mechanisms, hanging out, going to the club, spending money. Mm -hmm. I was trying to build a business and I stayed away from uh, uh, women who actually wanted to be with me because I had to deprive myself of the things that I needed. I mean, things that I wanted in order to get the things that I needed. It's in not, the passport world, in the passport bro world, we call that monk mode. You went on monk mode, like a monk. Yes. That's yes. what we say. We say monk mode. Yes. Hey, hey, if you want to be a passport bro, or if you want to travel or live in another country, shout out to my man uh, that that's, that say he's in Peru right now. Greetings from Peru uh, here in South America. We say that if you want to get that, if you're really serious about it, you have to go on what's called monk mode, mm -hmm. meaning that you cut yourself off of certain things and you really focus on your particular goals. Yeah. And so that's exactly what you did. You put yourself on monk mode and now you're reaping the benefits of going on monk mode. I mm -hmm. did the exact same thing. I'm six figure in living in another country. Mm -hmm. I'm six, six figures living in another country. I get yeah. all these tax breaks for being an expat. I get all these benefits because of cost of living is a fourth of so for like I mentioned before, I'm Mr. Let Go living here in Colombia. I live in it in the upper suburbs. I have a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment with a terrace with a million dollar view. Mm. Uh, we have security. We have our SUV. We have yeah. a parking garage. We have uh, that includes our Wi-Fi. That includes our utilities. That includes our cable. We have mm. a beautiful island stove. We have a lemon tree park next door. And we only pay $420 a month. Okay. What? Yeah. All I pay is $420 a month. What? That's it, oh. Brother. Wow. And, you know, I, and I don't live nowhere near a hood. I yeah. live in the upper middle class location. Yeah. And so, so at the end of the day, now you got a guy that's making five figures a month. Mm. Me only having to pay for all that $420 a month. So now you have this whole chunk of money to now buy properties, to now yeah. start a business, to now buy these $250 microphones and this these $1,000 cameras. Yeah. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Now, you, now they understand that the sacrifices that we made have a long, they're paying off now. Mm -hmm. So it is, ladies, when it comes to therapy, 
in health, it will pay off. That's why we say if that sister for at least six months in that church just started the process Prime herself of of applying herself with yes. therapy in health and proper dieting, put her back up on that stage in at least six months to a year and watch the behavior of those men. Because men want to at least, we're attracted to you, even if you're a heavy set girl, but you're trying. You you're heavy trying. Set, all of a sudden your clothes are different. You're not dressing in blue jean outfits. You have a nice, attractive, uh, but ladylike dress. You're yeah. not standing there with your arms folded because now you're feminine. And you're smiling now. Notice that in any of this footage, she never smiled. She laughed and giggled, but she never really smiled. Right. Why she's standing there? She's standing there like, uh-huh, prove your point, pastor. Prove your point. Which one of those men want to be with the woman that's standing there like, prove your point? Yeah. None of the men rush that stage. Now we're saying we're not saying that all those men are attractive, but what we're saying is if a woman who's looking for a man in a church who claims there's not any single men, pastor just proved her wrong. That means, OK, pastor just showed me 50 dudes that if I get myself together as a woman, I, I got a chance at 50 dudes in the church in which I already attend. But guess what? For most women, they'll still look like her six months later. Yeah. They won't do anything a year later. Two years will go by and there'll be 70 good men in that church and they still won't do anything about being fit and getting therapy and start changing their dietary habits. <sighs> Ladies, it's up to you to change your situation. And um, I have no problem coming on here uh, every day or whatever, every couple of days and talking about these different things. But just keep in mind, we nor I are up here complaining about women. No, we're doing content about women who are complaining about men and giving them an answer a solution and specific metrics that will let them know the person that made the video and y'all know that is not on us to fix y'all is up on you to fix you because we don't have the same problems y'all have because in Atlanta mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's nine women to one man and the women here are, they be wearing wigs all the time which is annoying but they they fine as hell here it's, it's a lot of fat women here, but it's a lot of fine women here also. So we don't have the same problems that y'all have. We don't necessarily need to just get in a relationship or whatever like y'all do. We don't feel unsafe when we go outside our house. We are men. We 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 can take care of ourselves. But a lot of times y'all don't and y'all can't. And all y'all do is sit around on social media whining about men all day and all night when you need to be in a gym all day and all night. True. But I'm about to go to the gym and I bet Andre True is about to go to the gym too. <laughs> so I yeah. can earn my right to get me some food. Yeah, I often say earn your shower. When you come ah, to the gym, earn, your, earn your shower. I like that. Earn like that gym shower. That, that yeah. shower after the gym feels so good. Earn yeah. your shower. I love that. I love that. So these are two fit, high value men that make over six figures sitting in front of you. Mm -hmm. And we live on two different continents and we have the same mindset and the same habits. We both are about to go to the gym when we get off this live. Oh, yeah. I want y'all to think about that. But the thing about it is, what are your habits that you are sharing with the women that you're around? Are they good habits or are they bad habits? Because we got good habits over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So y'all have a good rest of y'all day. And you already know what I'm about to say. Before you leave, make sure you pick up your Deeper Discussions card game. Today only, you can get them for $19 instead of $28. The price is going right back up. And the reason why I brought the price down is so more people can buy Christmas gifts because I know Christmas is a little hard for people. So you can easily spend $19 four times, then $28 four times. 
So I want all of y'all to buy three or four card games. Keep one for yourself and keep about three or four for yourself. I mean, for uh, somebody to buy for Christmas is a great stocking stuffer. It's nice and small and you can just hand it to somebody. You ain't got to have no big old box and, 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 and do all that stuff. But I'm here to help y'all and Andre is here to help y'all. But you have to help yourself. And if you I'm don't going to do be that, ordering, I'm going to be ordering mine. Uh, for me and my wife to enjoy uh, during Valentine's Day. So it should be here long before then. So we can, we yes. got a vacation trip planned. And for those in the comment section say, they say, well, I'm, I'm, I'm 58. My wife, I'm, I'm 56. My wife is 29. Well, she must not speak English. My wife is more fluent in English than I am. And the other thing is my wife has a master's degree. Just in case you guys are wondering, my wife here in South America, just in case you guys are always complaining about women in other countries don't have degrees. My yeah. wife has a master's degree. She is a translator as well as a corporate accountant over many major franchises here in Colombia. So when you sit back, you think that only women in America are doing the boss thing. My wife, as well as other men's wife and other wives in other countries are very successful, just like you ladies in the States are being successful as well. Just want to put that out there. And yes, we will be getting our deep discussion cards to enjoy on Valentine's Day while we're on vacation. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, brother. You always welcome whatever I'm on live and whatever you got going on. Hit me up and I'm I'm always down for it. You good people. All right, man. cool. Right, cool. All right. All right. Have a good one. Thank you, brother. You too. So y'all, hopefully, uh, because some of y'all are gonna be like, oh, he hates women. You're an idiot. But um, all together, hopefully what we talked about today was helpful to y'all. And like I said, I'm about to go to the gym and eat me something because I ain't ate all freaking day trying to be around and help y'all uh, big headed asses. So. <laughs> Deeper Discussion Card Game is meant to give you and other players deep understanding of how we all deal with relationship, when or if things get serious. One of the biggest reasons why people break up is because of underlying family issues. This game can be played with either two people or an entire group, so have fun. Question number one, what is the one thing you wanted but didn't receive when you were young? Name a time when money was the main factor why a relationship went bad. Deeper Discussions Dating Edition. Again, these cards are good for vetting a potential boyfriend, Candidate. a potential girlfriend, a potential husband, a potential wife. It'll even tell you what's wrong with your sneaky link. If you and your sneaky link need to have a conversation, these are the cards. The texture of these cards are so soft and silky, by the way. Like, like they ain't gonna like get really wore out. Durable. A dating card game for introverts who have a hard time asking the much-needed compatibility questions. Deeper Discussions, the card game.